I think this is the rebuild that I am looking forward to most. We are going to be doing a 10 year post KD and Kyrie realistic Nets rebuild. So what is going on everybody? How is everybody doing today? Yeah, this is probably one of the biggest trades of all time. Kevin Durant getting traded from the Brooklyn Nets to the Phoenix Suns. They got four unprotected first. They got a 2028 20, swap. Mikel Bridges, Cam Johnson, and Jay Crowder in return. We all know that Jay Crowder was shipped over to Milwaukee for a couple second round picks too. And about a year ago today, the Nets had James Harden, KD, and Kyrie. And now they have none of them. Yeah, they have no players left from that big three. It's one of the biggest what ifs in NBA history. One of the biggest failed super teams of all time. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a long realistic Nets rebuild that I'm super excited to build this team from the scratch with all their new assets, with the players they have now. We're going to build through the draft. We're going to get creative with trades. We're still a big market team. They signed Katie and Kyrie in the past. So I think I can sign other stars in this video if it makes sense. And remember, this is just for fun. This is my way to do these rebuilds and not trading like Dinwiddie and Ben Simmons for Pascal Siakam because the Raptors would not accept that. And this team is really deep. It has a lot of solid talent. I'm surprised they didn't move Royce O'Neal or try to move Joe Harris or Seth Curry, even Patty Mills too at the deadline. So for the remainder of the regular season, I think we're going to have Dinwiddie as our starting point guard. We definitely want to start Cam Thomas. I know he's been coming off the bench, but Cam Thomas is like a main reason why I'm excited to do this rebuild because he had three straight 40 points point games he didn't play all that well um last night of when i'm recording this against the chicago bulls but i like the potential there i gotta play him a ton same with mikhail bridges yeah we're probably gonna start ben simmons just to get him some run like dorian finney smith good player and all but i know he's not like in my long-term plans i could possibly move him in the offseason i don't think i'm gonna give seth curry any more minutes since the deadline is done i think joe harris will probably play it a little bit but i'd rather play cam johnson probably like 27 minutes a night as the sixth man o'neal can get 20 we'll probably do like 23 to finney smith i'll do another like 17 to to joe harris i mean we're currently still a playoff team i probably gotta get like backup big man minutes you know i guess finney smith can play the center spot so i want to do about 31 to cam thomas we'll do about 34 to dinwiddie 33 to mikhail bridges 29 to claxton and 26 to ben simmons i have no idea if i'm gonna be able to move ben simmons in the offseason i do want claxton to shoot the ball a little bit more so he's gonna go up to a 60 shot tendency yeah mikhail bridges he's gonna probably be like the number two scoring option behind dinwiddie he's gonna have an 80 shot tendency dinwiddie for the remainder of the season is gonna have an 80 as well simmons can even up that to a 65 cam johnson i'm gonna up that to a 65 as well curry's fine dorian finney smith i want him to shoot the ball a little bit more he could be a 60 uh harris that's fine o'neill i mean i'll at least up that to a 40 and we can do a 50 and for cam thomas i want him to shoot uh we can actually make that a 75 for cam thomas so yeah this team just beat the bulls and as i'm recording this they are 33 and 22 we still might be a top seed in the East. I can't see my current picks, but I'll make sure to fact check them. I know 2K doesn't trade picks when they do live trades. Like, yeah, we have Cam Johnson and we have Mikel Bridges, but we don't have the picks that we got for Jay Crowder and Kevin Durant. So I'll manually trade those in the offseason. We have a February 11th game here against Philly. I'm actually going to be at the Philly game tonight of when I'm recording this, the 10th, going up against the Knicks. I'm 0-4 and seeing Knicks games at Philly, so I'm hoping they win. Cam Johnson, okay, with 25. Mikel Bridges with 21. Dinwiddie, 18-5. and five. Cam Thomas at 18. Claxton with 17 boards. All right, this could be fun. All right, contract extension deadline. We are 35-25 and 25 at the moment. Can we actually re-sign anybody? Joe Harris, not really going to talk to him with an extension. Okay, nobody else either wants to agree to come back right now or is eligible. Joe Harris gets a right hand fracture. He's out four to six weeks. We're just going to basically give those 17 minutes to Seth Curry. Oof, we had a brutal loss against the Milwaukee Bucks there. 113 to 72, losing by 41 hertz. Ben Simmons with left shin splints. We know he's better in 2K than he is in real life. So I'm still going to, I think, explore trading Simmons in the offseason. Maybe a team like San Antonio could be interested. Uh, Luka Doncic wins MVP. Bancaro, rookie of the year. Russ, six man. Claxton gets deep boy. Okay, he beats out Triple J. We love that. His potential is going to be through the roof. I think he could be a 90 overall in this video. Uh, I know he's going to probably ask for 30 mil. I don't know if he's going to develop a three-point shot. The dude can't hit a free throw to save his life, but he is one of the best rim protectors in the league. He just won Depoy. That is something nice to build around. He's obviously going to get all defensive first team. Man, like that's like another reason why I was super excited for this 10-year rebuild is because of Nick Claxton. We ended the season as the fifth seed. We're going up against the four-seeded Sixers in round one. I believe Harris is healthy. Hmm. They both shot 40% from three. You know what? Seth Curry, I'm going to play over him. Royce O'Neal for his defense. Uh, he's probably going to get like 16 minutes a night because we do have a lot like of good defenders now in front of him, like Finney Smith, even still Ben Simmons, but Mikel Bridges. So um, yeah, we don't need Royce O'Neal too much. I think for the playoffs, 
Bridges can go up to, oh yeah, he was a beast, like for us at least, 35. I want to go 36 to Dinwiddie. Cam Thomas shot 38 from three, okay. Simmons, mine six and six, geez. Uh, so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to allocate. Maybe Finney Smith, I'm going to drop to like 20 a night. Cam Johnson, I want to stick at 27 because I want to do 32 to Claxton. So yeah, we're going to play Dinwiddie, Bridges, and Claxton. That's like our big three, the most amount of minutes. Going up against Philly in round one. I'm not expecting too much, but hey, a series victory would be nice. We beat them in game one by six. Harden against his former team. Are we going to pull off the upset? Claxton with the double-double. Seth with 18 points in 18 minutes. Dinwiddie and Cam Thomas combined for 52. Thomas is fully healthy, and we take a 2-0 lead. We win by four. You know what? I would love to overachieve. Mikel Bridges with 31. Dinwiddie with 24, 8, and 6. Cam Johnson with 23. He hit five threes off the bench. We take a 3-0 lead. What is going on? Spencer Dinwiddie with 36 and 10. Mikel Bridges with 19. Maybe the Nets are played better without a star. Like, you had that overachieving season with D.L. Levert uh, and those guys a couple years ago. And now we're kind of overachieving. We just swept Philly. <laughs> this would get Doc Rivers fired so quick. Simmons with a triple double. I'd even mention he's going up against his former team. Five steals as well. And we're probably going to be taking on Boston, I think. Oh my God, Miami beat them. Okay. We're going to, we're about to have a Mickey Mouse way to the conference finals. Dinwiddie averaged 30 against Philly. 30 and eight, shot 51 from three. Cam Thomas, 55 from the field, 55 from three. Okay. Well, I'm kind of confident we can beat Miami if we beat Philly. They're an eight seed. Oh my god, we beat them by 46 in game one. Very efficient shooting night from us. They do beat us in game two, so that's our first L of the playoffs. We do have two Cams. Yeah, Cam Johnson, Cam Thomas. I do want to extend Cam Johnson as Jimmy Butler drops a 50-piece on us in game three. They are up two to one. Please don't lose this. Okay, we tied up two to two. We win by 14. Yuta was even playing for us, so I don't know how he got injured. Game five. Uh, Cameron Johnson can play through it. Oh my god, what's going on? And we win! Let's go! We're up 3-2. to two. We are one game away from going to the conference finals. My coverage doesn't even shoot all that well. Phoenix finishes the 8th seed. I'm lost in round 1, so it's kind of funny. And we are going to a game 7. Back-to-back 7-game -back series for the Miami Heat. Who's going to win this one? And it is going to be the Brooklyn Nets! It's the Nets and Hawks in the conference finals, like we all expected. Man, we are playing with house money at this point. Like, I did not expect to be here. We lost game 1 by 3 points. Seth Curry was our leading scorer. Don't love that. I mean, like, I would like to go to the finals. We're taking on the Hawks, which I think is the, the worst team we have faced in the playoffs so far. I think Miami and Philly are better, and they're up 3 out. Okay, I guess they just match up all that much, like, uh, or so much better against us. Trey had 61 and 13. Holy crap. All right, well, down 3-0, and we get swept. So we end up sweeping Philly, beat the team that beat the one-seeded Celtics, probably the finals favorite, in seven, and then we end up getting swept. Or are they, like, I don't know, game one, lost by three? Lost by 11, lost by 41, and then lost by 5. So a decent amount of them were close. And the NBA Finals is between the Atlanta Hawks, Trey Young owned us in that series, and the Dallas Mavericks. Luka was probably the Western Conference Finals MVP. It would be cool to see Trey versus Luka, the two players that were traded for each other on draft night in 2018, go up against each other in the finals. Luka and the Mavs win it all. Chris Paul retires. He's like, I, I can't do this. I can't play with KD for three more years. So it is the draft lottery. We are not partaking anywhere in here, but we will have the Phoenix Suns first round pick, which is actually going to be pretty good because they didn't make the playoffs. So we have the 15th pick. Oh, maybe we do have the picks. Maybe 2K did update that. So we have 15... Do the Rockets have our pick? No, we have our pick at 23. Nice. So I get the Suns 23, 25, 27. I'll make sure to, when it's available, get their 29 first round pick. Same with Dallas. And then we also have a 2028 20, swap with them. So we're just going to look to hire a couple more scouts. We're just going to get two foreign scouts and two domestic scouts because we do have a head. Um, well, unique Arthur doesn't sign with us, but we get everybody else. All right, so it is the 2022 NBA draft. This is the only draft that will have real prospects. We're going to go to auto-generated um, from 2024 on. We have picks 15 and 23 in this draft. I think I want to do a soft like retool. I don't want to blow up this team, but I wouldn't mind trading some of our veteran players uh, because we're going to add two rookies. Uh, so like Dorian Finney-Smith, I'm going to look to move. I don't think I'm going to be able to trade Joe Harris, but Finney Smith, I would look to trade, try to sell high on his value. So Chicago is actually interested in adding Dorian Finney Smith. So I'm going to give them Finney Smith 
and pick 23 in this draft. We're going to be getting that Portland unprotected pick in 2024, which I think will have more value than pick 23 here. I don't think Portland's going to be that good next year. We're not making Portland better with this trade since Chicago does own that pick. So yeah, we are going to be trading Finney Smith to Chicago. So we just have pick 15 and we also have 53 in this draft. Let's see who's available. Probably just going to go best player available. The Jazz won the Wembani Yama sweepstakes. I don't think the Pacers are going to take Scoot Henderson. Nope, I was wrong. All right, first trade. Let's see what it is. The Trailblazers are trading nine for Clint Capella. Okay, not a terrible offer. Definitely an upgrade over Yusuf Nurkic. And I think they got a first out of that as well. Atlanta takes Kalel Ware out of Oregon with that selection. And I think I'm going to take Gregory Jackson out of South Carolina with this selection. Yeah, Wemby's going to be really good. <laughs> he really is. Uh, so we're going to get Matthew Cleveland here in the second round out of Florida State. Uh, and he is a 71. We'll see if he ends up playing for us. But Gregory Jackson can maybe just take those minutes of Dorian Finney-Smith off the bench. I want to pick up the team option on Dinwiddie. I like him uh, to come back for 21 mil. O'Neal, nine and a half. I think I might pick it up. Uh, we're going to decline the option on Edmund Sumner. I don't know. I kind of like Sumner. I think I'm going to decline it on Daron Sharp to clear up that 2.2 mil. Sumner I'm going to bring back and everybody else as well. Uh, we're going to extend the qualifying offers jo or just to Cameron Johnson. So yeah, Cam Johnson is the only player I plan on bringing back. Wow. Drew Smith did not want to be here. <laughs> Down five morale points. So uh, I don't know if I'm really going to... I think the only position I'm going to look is trying to get a solid backup center. Maybe Dwight Powell on the market. Yeah, I would sign Dwight Powell to a two-year deal at a team option um, on the second year. So we're going to renounce the rights on Curry. I'm actually going to renounce it on everybody but Cameron Johnson. Now that moratorium is over, let's look to bring back Cameron Johnson. Of course, he doesn't want to resign, but you know what? You are going to be resigning with me. If you really don't like it here in a year, I would trade you... Uh, cam johnson so i'm gonna give him three years 14 mil it will go up um as each year goes along so three years 45 million total not bad at all all right Kyrie just still hasn't signed there he is he goes to utah what on a one year 21 million dollar deal okay kp gets paid from the pacers uh christian wood goes back to dallas interesting james harden back to philly uh kuzma goes to houston miles turner to san antonio did they not update that renegotiation grant back to portland him and capella in that front court Dilo goes to the jazz so we see a lot of uh regression eh. powell goes down harris goes down simmons goes up and overall no progression from cam thomas that kind of hurts but he will start for us all right so the start of season number two we're gonna go dimwitty thomas bridges simmons claxon again um i think i'm gonna see what simmons could do a full year with us and then possibly even move him at the deadline cam johnson gregory jackson Royce O'Neal, Joe Harris off the bench. I think I'd rather, instead of playing Joe Harris, um, I'm going to play Edmund Sumner, unless there's somebody else that deserves minutes down here. Probably not. We did sign Ingles as well as Isaiah Thomas just to fill out some roster spots. So Sumner is going to get about 12 minutes a night. And eh, maybe I should get minutes to Dwight Powell. All right, so it's going to look like this. Powell's only going to get like, eh, we can probably give him eight. This is the bench. Johnson, Jackson, O'Neal, Sumner, and Powell. The starting five is Dinwiddie, Thomas, Bridges, Simmons, Claxton. I think we are going to be fairly active at the deadline this season i don't know if we're going to be overachieving or not let's see um yeah we lost game one by nine to the pacers i'm excited to see what claxon can do this year i'm um, in a full season he's keep or he's gonna keep developing for us as we start off the season don't be 0 three okay we beat Orlando. Uh, Cam Thomas with 22 here. All right, so it's not going all that well for us this season. We're currently six games under 500. Uh, at one point, I think we were nine games under 500. Oof, Mikel Bridges breaks his left toe. He's out two to four weeks. I'm leaning towards being, or we're at least trending towards me being a seller at the deadline because it looks like we are going to be around the play in tournament as our peak. We have been playing better a little bit as of late. So it's currently February 3rd, and we rank 11th in the Eastern Conference. The only thing that scares me about completely selling, as in 2024, we have the swap worse with the Rockets. So I'm really hoping the Rockets are also bad this season. And okay, I think they are. I think they are. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're worse than us, which is good. So we're going to trend down. We want the Rockets to trend down. We're not going to get the better of the two picks. But hey, if the Rockets end up worse than us, we are going to be able to keep our pick. And we also have the um, Suns pick. Well, oh no, that's next year. Oh, I read that wrong. No, we don't have our first this year. Oh, that sucks. So then I want to be strategic with my selling. And Portland is solid. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so... Yeah, I got to see what I would sell. I would maybe think about Dinwiddie because he is an, um, an expiring. He is our leading scorer, shooting 36 from 3, 80 from the line. I think a team would want him. Mikel Bridges, 
uh, he he's still on such a valuable contract. I don't think I want to trade him unless I got blown away with a package. Cameron Johnson, we could potentially move because I think we can get a great return for him. He's 27, but he's an elite shooter right now. Nick Claxton, 12 points, 11 rebounds, 2.4 blocks. I don't plan on moving him. Cam Thomas, 12 points, 2.8 rebounds. The efficiency is down. Ugh, okay, that's not great. Simmons, about 11, 7, and 6. I mean, if I could move him, I will. Gregory Jackson, struggling as a rookie. Uh, Royce O'Neal, a team may want. All right, so I believe we are about to hit the all-star draft. We're definitely not going to have anybody here. We might see some former Nets, though. Kevin Durant is a starter on Team Giannis. Did Kyrie make the all-star game? I don't believe he did. Uh, Wemby makes it in his rookie season. Uh, you have Evan Mobley, a first-time All-Star over there. James Harden, another former net making it. He's a reserve on Team LeBron. So yeah, we're about to hit the trade deadline, and I gotta make some important moves right now. Oof. Mikel Bridges. Two to four week injury again. That hurts. All right, so Dinwiddie's probably gonna leave in the offseason for nothing. I'm gonna take Tim Hardaway Jr. from the Dallas Mavericks. We already have that connection from the Kyrie trade. So we're sending Dinwiddie back to the Mavericks, who actually lost, yeah, Kyrie in the offseason. So it's the Thanos meme. You couldn't live on your own or whatever. So we're to bring you back to me. That's basically Dinwiddie talking to the Mavericks. Uh, we're just sending him back and forth. Uh, we're getting their 2025 top five protected pick. Just some more draft capital for somebody I did not think I was going to re-sign in the offseason in Dinwiddie. Just because he is 30. I mean, we could also go out and sign him in the offseason too. That's definitely on the table. Tim Hardaway Jr. we're going to get. He'll be an expiring um, next year. So his value, I think, will be very high. Especially if he's going to shoot 38 from 3, 81 from the line. And we are going to do this trade. I don't think I'm going to flip him at the deadline again. Um, I'll wait till he becomes an expiring. As for moving anybody else, I don't think so. Uh, Simmons will be a $40 million expiring. Holy crap. That's going to be tough to move. Um, all right. I, I don't really know what to do with that. Like, yes, yeah, Charlotte might be interested. Why do they still have Mason Plumlee? Does, oh, no. He ended up going back to Charlotte uh, in the offseason. That's funny. Like, I wouldn't mind Plumlee as a backup. Would you guys be willing to trade me a 2027 unprotected first for Ben Simmons? I would actually do this to get um, off of Simmons next year. We take on Gordon Hayward, who's an expiring contract. We get Mason Plumlee, who would be an upgrade over Dwight Powell as a backup center. He's making 5.5 uh, mil next year. He is 33, but if I can get an unprotected first for this and Joe Ingles, I would do it. Um, they would want Matthew Cleveland, who I would be... I mean, like, yeah, he played a little bit when Bridges got hurt and he played very well. I don't want to give up any picks of my own. Now, I couldn't give up some of these seconds that I have. Um, or I should have a couple more, actually, from the uh, Crowder deal. I don't know if there's any other player you'd prefer, like Edmund Sumner over Joe Ingles. Let's see, a second and Sumner, and I'll get that um, first rounder in 2027. Uh, they would want Ingles in a second. I'd take on Cody Martin and his $7 million. You know what? I would do that. He'll be an expiring. I think I'll be able to move him in the offseason. So, boom. We just trade Ben Simmons to Charlotte. He teams up with Lamelo over there. We become a seller at the deadline. We don't really have a viable starting point guard option. So, at the moment, it's going to be Isaiah Thomas. But I think I'm going to sign somebody in free agency. Trey Mann's a free agent. Whoa. What happened here? I mean, I'd like the possibility of signing Trey Mann. Can I afford him? Nope, not at all. Uh, I don't know who's signing you for $13 million. Dennis Smith, Javon Carter. Ugh, I might just sign Isaiah Thomas, but he's just going to... Like, I don't want to tank. I don't have my first round pick. There's no point in tanking. Can't even get DSJ, man. Point guard market is thin. Unless I could flip Cody Martin for a point guard. I don't know. I can't really find much. So you know what? I guess it's going to be Isaiah Thomas as my point guard for the remainder of the season. Uh, yeah, guys, just kind of shield your eyes at this. I don't think I'm going to move Royce O'Neal um, at the moment. Cam Johnson... Ah, uh, yeah, so it's going to be all over the place, the rotation, till the end of the year. Bridges will be back in it. Don't expect to make the playoffs. So, yeah, let's go through the deadline. Does Claxton have another team option, or is this his final year? Ooh, he's going to be in a free agent the offseason. We're going to have to pay him a lot of money. Cam Johnson's fine. Russo O'Neal would resign. I don't think I will resign him at the moment. So, we've had injuries to Cam Thomas, Gregory Jackson, Mikel Bridges. We're going to probably bottom out, which kind of sucks, but we're going to have a little bit more cap flexibility. I'm going to be able to move Tim Hardaway Jr. We got off of Simmons 40 million guaranteed next season i think charlotte would be in a realistic team that would be kind of desperate to upgrade there around Lamelo ball let's just hope that portland also finishes the year poorly so we at least have one lottery pick maybe it was silly to be a seller when you don't have your first round pick but we oh my 
God, Claxton. You know what? If everyone's going to get injured this year, this is fine. Uh, just don't get hurt going forward. Cam Thomas and Claxton just been brutalized by injuries. But hey, we got that first round pick from Dallas in 25. We got that first round pick from Charlotte in 2027. We have that other Dallas pick from the Kyrie trade in 29, like, and all those picks from the Suns in the KD trade. We're going to be sitting pretty on the back half of this decade in picks. I mean, we basically just gifted to Houston the top 10 picks. So you're welcome, Houston. I'd expect to get a favor returned as what? LeBron wins MVP in his age 39 season. Okay, that's kind of crazy. Wemby rookie of the year. Poku sixth man of the year. Oh my God, everybody. <laughs> Wait, I don't want to be first team you guys. Uh, Luca, Lamelo, LeBron, the three L's. You had five J's make the uh, NBA second team. James, Ja, Jason, Jalen, and Joel. All-NBA third team, Wemby makes it in his rookie season. Even with the injuries, Nick Claxton does get all uh, defensive second team. We got Gregory Jackson on all-rookie first team. Nine and a half, 7.2, 3.9. Um, not a bad slash line. The efficiency was horrible, though. We're hoping that's a little bit better. Maybe he's going to take less threes next year. I think he's going to be my starting power forward. We are crossing our fingers. We are praying that Portland gets eliminated from Houston. Come on, Houston. Can you do us that favor? Like, we ended up giving you a top 10 pick. Please beat Portland for us we did not end up in the playing tournament correct no charlotte ends up in the playing tournament with ben simmons um as the ninth seed they also have josh hart there as well here are the season stats mikhail bridges maybe we think about trading him in the offseason 57 percent true shooting 37 from three i don't know though he's 27 cam johnson if i can get like a really good first round pick i might think about it because he's really good, though. I don't know if we want to be competitive next year. Um, I probably should have played Matthew Cleveland a little bit more, but it is what it is. Uh, Double-double for Claxton, 2.3 blocks. Cam Thomas, a little bit more efficient. Ah, uh, not really, man. All right, we're going to figure out what we want to do with him. Tomato Way Jr., I think we'll have some good value in the offseason. Hayward is going to be gone. Gregory Jackson, we already talked about. Uh, Plumley probably going to slide in as our backup center next year. 3.8 assists. I'm cool with that. Like I said, Houston, please beat Portland. And, oh, my God, Portland ends up as the eighth seed. Of course they do. Of course they do. James Harden, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. LeBron, Western Conference Finals MVP. And the Sixers beat the Lakers in seven in the finals. And that was LeBron's last shot at it. He ends up retiring. I'm surprised. I thought maybe Gordon Hayward would retire, but he does not. All right, so draft lottery time. We are most likely going to have the 15th pick. The, where is the Rockets? Oh, we're going to lose a top five pick. Watch it go to one. Watch it go to one, man. And nope, uh, it goes up to three. All right, so they did get lucky with that. We are going to have Portland's pick at 15, which isn't too bad. I mean, the Rockets have the third pick. They also have, where's their pick? Oh, no, the Thunder have their pick at 11. I don't know. Let's hope they draft a bust at three. Vaughn is a free agent. I think I did him a disservice by being a seller at this deadline. So I'm going to uh, give him a two-year extension. Yeah, let's give him a, a two-year extension, about seven and a half mil. All right. So looking at, okay. Yeah, of course, Claxton doesn't want to come back. Well, uh, I think, I don't know if he'll be restricted. Uh, it is draft night. We have the 15th overall pick in the draft. Like I said, um, is there like a top guy? Like, yeah, we probably missed out on Ross Rivers. What's his ceiling? Olajuwon? Yep. Of course it's Olajuwon. I don't remember who Don Boos was. Uh, Rod Nicholson, Eddie Jones. All right. Uh, James Harden from Clayton Cross. Like, what are these overalls? Can we see them right now? Um, okay. <laughs> well, yeah. Whoever got the number one pick is getting a Hall of Famer. Jonathan Brewer looks pretty good. All right. So I'm going to try to send Tim Hardaway Jr. and Cody Martin to Memphis for pick 20. I don't know if there's any other player I'd be able to snag in this. You've got Grady Dick. Or... Yeah, Grady Dick. Okay, Grant Dickie. I'm going to have to edit that name. Uh, you drafted him when last year? 21st would you give me grady dick for tim Hardaway jr and cody martin and a first um would i throw in anything else no 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 i would give you Plumley, but i don't know if you'd even want Plumley. would i move down five spots to get grady dick i don't know i would give you a second you know what i would actually just trade tim Hardaway jr and martin for grady dick um they say yes to that so grady dick currently a wing out of kansas he's gonna be a first round pick in real life obvious for obvious reasons grady dick <laughs> is a name that probably gets flagged um, in 2K, but let's at least, you can't even have Grady as the first name, or did this guy completely give him a new name? So Grady works, Dick work as a last name, come on, come on. We had Dan Dick out before, and it works. Okay, I guess when you create the class, it doesn't work, but in this, it does. So we got Grady Dick. Let's go to the NBA draft here. We just added a nice young piece. Like I didn't plan to be good in the first three years of this rebuild. We're doing like a rebuild here in Brooklyn. But yeah, who got that Ross Rivers guy? Oh, Orlando, they're stacked. So we are on the clock here at 15. The Rockets with our pick got Horace Stewart. Honestly, probably one of the worst selections here, which is 
good since we will have that swap worse with them next year. So if we're bad, we want them to be bad. I could look at Jacob Vincent, a 77 overall 20-year-old. Ceiling is Blake Griffin. Floor is Clark Kellogg. Neil Sloan, Bill Lambeer. Um, I mean, we do have Plumlee and Claxton there. Uh, Francis uh, Levins, Antonio Davis. I thought that said Anthony Davis. You know what? I kind of like Jacob Vincent. He's out of Pepperdine. Shout out to Maxwell Lewis. He's going to be a first round pick in real life. Um, we're going to take him. Yeah, him and uh, Gigi Jackson, Gregory Jackson are going to be our power forwards next year. And let's sign Vincent, who is a 77 overall, higher overall than who the Rockets took at three. Uh, Cam Thomas, we're picking up his team option. Powell, we're going to decline at Cleveland. We're picking that up. I'm hoping we have a little bit of cap space. I think we will. Not sure what we're going to be targeting. Well, we need a point guard on this team. Like we need our Jalen Brunson, like somebody that just in a larger role can be really good for us. Because uh, right now, if we look at our salary cap table, um, we're only paying Bridges and Johnson big money. We're going to have to pay Claxton a decent amount. But, like, we're going to play uh, Dick, Vincent, Jackson, Thomas, Plumley, Johnson, and Bridges. So that's seven players right there. We got Claxton coming back, so that's eight. Oh, he's unrestricted. Okay, I'm going to try to wait and see if that price goes down. I mean, if I offer him a deal, we still have $38 million. Okay, so we have a ton of money. If we want to look at a point guard, could that be Lonzo Ball? In a larger role for us, could that be Cole Anthony? I feel like Cole Anthony we could develop into being a really good point guard. You know what? He is restricted. Would they match this? If I gave Cole Anthony about $75 million over three years, a little bit more than that, actually, I can give him a fourth year. I think I'm a fourth year with a player option. I, I really like his intangibles. He's 6'3". He's a good passer. What's his defensive grades? B plus 3. B perimeter D, not too bad. B plus potential. We could probably develop him into being a high 80 overall. I don't know if Orlando's going to match it. They might. I don't think so, though, because they got some other people they need to pay. We could also look at DeJounte Murray if we want to convert him back to a point guard like he was in San Antonio. But let's wait. So we get Cole Anthony. We can pivot to DeJounte Murray if they match it. And they don't. Let's go. So we get Cole Anthony. Let's just make sure Claxton isn't about to get a deal. I think his price will go down. So I do want to monitor that. He has four offers. He's not taking any of those right now. We can get him for 31. I think we could even let that drop. I mean, if he takes one year 11 mil, like before I even offer him a four-year deal, it's whatever. Um, yeah, his highest is 1.69 mil. He's not taking that. It is a little risky getting to day seven. I'm kind of scared because he has eight offers. Um, 30 mil, so it's only dropped about 2 million is asking price. Come on, let's see day eight. I'm scared to bring it to day nine. Um, all right, let's just give Claxton. Let's make him a net for life. I want to lower that a little bit. Uh, if we could sign him for about 26 mil, eventually go up to 30. Okay, so we get Claxton. I also need to sign a backup point guard. I know it's a little bit late. Whoa, I can get Trey Jones. I can get Titus Jones. Um, Killing Hayes, I would assume, move TJ McConnell campaign. Let's get TJ McConnell on a one-year deal. I'll give him about like $6 million to be my backup point guard. I also want to sign Jalen McDaniels, who won't crack the rotation right away, but like he's probably the first man in in case of an injury. I probably should have signed another center as well, so that's on me. I'll probably do that in the free agency market since we do have a little bit more cap space. But I'm taking a chance, man. Cole Anthony, I'm hoping we can develop him. It's time to call up Phoenix and get the 2028 first. Okay, well, there's a stepping roll in that. And then why can't I do my swap best with you guys? Even if I don't even involve it. Mm. All right, so I'll just do that during that draft. So we have their 2029 pick right now. Let me just give you... I guess you're about to get a second for me, so you're welcome. And before we start the season, can I get a free agent center? Ah, oh, Sadiq Baden gets signed. Markel Fultz, Patrick Williams, some good talent out there. Whoa, Jakob Pertl didn't get signed. Can I afford Jakob Pertl? I can. This is an upgrade over... over um, What's his name? Mason Plumley. So I'll take that. So it's definitely going to be Anthony Thomas Bridges... Uh, probably not Johnson. He's going to remain as the sixth man. I'm going to start Jackson. We'll have Johnson, Vincent, probably Pirtle getting most of the minutes off the bench. Um, oh, and I want to play Grady Dick as well. So Grady Dick, you're going to get about 17. Uh, where's Pirtle at? So Pirtle's down there. We signed Caruso, Austin Rivers as well. Um, I don't even think McConnell's going to crack the rotation. I'm going to go 17 of these guys. Vincent as a rookie, probably 18. Cam Johnson, about 27. Claxton, 32. Gregory Jackson, 28. It's fine. 33 to Bridges. 30 to Thomas. Let's do 35 to Bridges and Cole. I want to see what they can do, and we'll do one more to Claxton. System proficiency is going to be three-star balanced. Let's see how good this team can do. All right, guys, I am so happy right now because through 19 games, Cole Anthony is averaging 26 points, 4.4 rebounds, 7.3 assists. In a larger role, he is killing it. He's shooting 49 from 392 from the line. He is having an insane season. He might be a most improved guy right now. He definitely will be. Um, Mikel Bridges having, mm, I don't know about a great year. 54% true shooting. Um, good counting stats, though. There's Claxton off that fresh extension. 15 and 11. Cam Johnson still being super efficient from three. Cam Thomas. 
and a contract year is being more efficient. Of course he is. Uh, there's Gregory Jackson, much better in year two. Um, love to see that. Still only 21. There's Grady Dick. I hope to be a little bit better, but you know what? Still not too bad. And then there's Pirtle McConnell Vincent. Um, he's been hurt for a little bit of the season, but he's been better as of, or no, he hasn't really been all that good. But yeah, he he was hurt. But right now we're 8-11, and 11, so you'd like to see maybe Cole Anthony balling out to translate to wins right now. Um, we do have Phoenix's pick this season. How are they? Of course, the one seed in the West. Houston, also pretty good. We have the worst pick of theirs and ours. So I guess we'll just continue simulating. I also believe we have Dallas's top five protected pick in this draft, correct? Um, yes. So is Dallas maybe off to a poor start with Luka? I didn't see. They are. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So we haven't really gotten much better. Uh, like I said, I don't, or I haven't really said it yet, but I don't know if I want to be a seller again since we don't have our first round pick. So we could look to be a buyer if we think that we can make the playoffs. Um, but we're not really winning games right now. 18 and 30, 19 and 30. Okay. Big win there against Boston. We do have some first round picks to trade. Grady Dick would probably have some value, like a one point loss against Philly. Can we beat Charlotte in the Ben Simmons revenge game? Do we get any all-stars? Wait, Cole Anthony has to be an all-star. He's not in contention to be a starter, which is fine. Uh, Cole Anthony, what? Did his numbers go down? We'll double check that. Giddy's a first-time all-star. So is the Ant-Man. But, like, we just beat Charlotte. Cam Johnson at 34. Oh, my goodness, man. He's good. He's so efficient. Okay. Uh, Cole Anthony's still averaging 22, 7.5 this year, 5.5. Come on. How is that not an all-star? So, we're about to head to the trade deadline. We're 21 and 33. Oh, we're fully healthy two i mean we are the 11th seed we're about a game and a half back from being in the playing tournament so trying to get up to seven and eight is where i want to go so we get those two playing tournament games we're about four back of i think that was washington akel bridges has been a little bit disappointing this year do we maybe look to trade him he'll be an expiring next year and then we start cam johnson i don't hate that idea but trading bridges at the deadline is a like i don't know if i really agree to do that uh can we also extend them no so we know he wants to test free agency hmm i do want to see the award races right now is cole anthony in most improved um ross rivers already a beast him versus wemby um let's see nobody in six man of the year defensive player of the year no claxton most improved cole anthony is fourth somehow okay i'm not trading for bones highland but look what he's doing in uh in la right now insane also spencer dinwiddie signed with the lakers only on a one-year deal but he's balling out there and honestly i don't think i'm gonna make a move at the deadline let's just see if this team can pick it up in the second half of the season gregory jackson is shooting 42 percent from three you know what i might do i think i might start cam johnson and move bridges to the bench uh because bridges is a trade candidate now in the offseason and maybe cam johnson is the guy we roll with long term like we just beat the heat 131 uh 79 cam johnson with 24 points go six for 10 from downtown the dude can shoot the ball man we i mean we knew that but he's killing it for us any contract extensions right now uh, bridges wants to test for agency yeah we're probably gonna trade bridges in the off season which does suck and we're trying to find this identity right now like i think we we did get a good point guard in cole anthony he's up to an 84 overall he's been efficient he's 24 he's a good passer i want to get familiar with kind of the prospects in this draft um yeah it's definitely center heavy at the top oscar dunn looks like okay a pretty good point guard 511 though out of seton hall how are the rockets and the mavericks and the suns how are they doing so rockets are really good that pick for us is going to be in the 20s while well, they get our first suns they're doing pretty good that pick's going to be in the 20s dallas let's hope they maybe fall out and that could that pick could be as high as six for us yeah because we're bottoming out now we are definitely not making the playoffs all right so cam thomas gets hurt great yep you're welcome houston you're about to get another topic in the draft man we are maybe cole anthony's in that guy but i also think maybe cam thomas isn't that guy we're probably not going to bring him back in the offseason Maybe we could work a Mikel Bridges trade into a shooting guard that we could put next to Cole or at least draft one. And we should still have a decent amount of cap space as well. I mean, especially if we move Mikel Bridges. We finished off the season strong. You know, we could have flirted with like the 10th seed in the East. So I'll have to double check that. Men Thompson gets the most improved. So not Cole Anthony. Dwayne Casey of the Pistons is your coach of the year. Do we see any like shockers on the All-NBA teams? Eh. Not really. Wemby was there on all NBA second team. Claxton. No, Gregory Jackson makes all defensive second team. Okay. So we have a nice defensive front court to build around. Jackson, who could also shoot the three ball, 36 from three, improved from last year. Also could pass the ball, five and a half assists. And then Claxton at the five. Man, we have a good defensive front court. How did Vincent do in his rookie season? Uh, Vincent's up to an 81 overall. The dude cannot shoot the ball, D3, but a good defender. What did he finish up with? 10 and 8? Okay. Wait, no, that's Gregory Jackson. Okay. Uh, wow. Jackson has a perimeter D. Yeah, good defender. 
Um, Vit wait, he has a D three point rating. He shot 36% from three. Okay. Vincent. Okay. In his rookie season, he's only 20. Did we make the playing tournament? We did not. Charlotte was the 10th seed. Once again, we have their first round pick in a couple more years. Uh, Cole Anthony, I thought was solid. The efficiency did drop off a little bit, but still 50% true shooting. I will take that. Uh, there's Mikel Bridges did a little bit better towards the end of the year. I think we might trade him after spending three years here in Brooklyn. Or I guess you could say two and a half. Uh, Cam Johnson, I think, is going to go into next season as my starting small forward. Uh, Nick Claxton, obviously, our starting center. Cam Thomas is a restricted free agent. I don't think I'm going to be bringing him back. Would have liked Grady Dick to be a little bit better. We already talked about Vincent and Jackson. Pirtle's most likely gone. Victor Wembeniyama is your Western Conference Finals MVP. And Mobley your Eastern Conference Finals MVP, the Jazz and the Cavs, the Donovan Mitchell Revenge Series, and the Cavs win in six with Garland being your Finals MVP. Gordon Hayward, Nets legend retires. Marcus Aldridge, Nets legend retires. Thad Young, uh, helped them get James Harden because he traded for them, or he, the Nets traded Young for the pick that got them Levert, who helped them get Harden. Lottery time, the Rockets have our pick that's gonna be projected at eight. We have, oh, Houston didn't make the playoffs. What? Wow, they bottomed out. Okay, let's go. It looks like Dallas did make it. I didn't even notice that. Um, so yeah, we're going to have a lottery pick from Houston. It's going to be the worst of the two. So the Rockets get the first overall pick. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so our pick ended up going up to number one. <laughs> of course they get that lucky. What was it? 11 I just said or 10th. And then um, we have the Rockets pick or now it's our pick because it's the worst of the two at nine. You know what? I'll take that. We have 22 via Dallas and 23 via Phoenix. We could package those in a trade. So you know what? That actually worked out well for us. The Rockets just keep getting lucky though, but you know what? I'll take it for a rebuilding team without having your draft picks. It kind of sucks. Reminds me of those 2010 Nets. I think we are going to fire Jack Avon. I kind of wanted him to work out, but you know, I just a couple disappointing seasons back to back hurts. Let's see if we could poach Nick Nurse to come here. I'll give him ten and a half million dollars over four years. Damn it. That would have been huge. Oh my God. If we can get Monty Williams, I would be very happy with that. Damn it. He gets blocked. What? All right. Chris Finch. Uh, we're going to try to make him our head coach, a former Timberwolves and I believe Raptors guy. Four year deal. Welcome to Brooklyn. All right. So we're going to work on sending Mikkel Bridges to OKC. They would give me the sixth overall pick in their 2027 top three. I don't want to pick from them because they're going to be good. So I want this heat on protected first round pick next year. You get Mikel Bridges to pair up with Shade Gilgis Alexander or Josh Giddy. Um, the other M Bridges is there too. So would they do this? We get two really good picks for an expiring Bridges. They say no. They want my Dallas first, which is in the 20s, right? Yeah, it's not pick like 24. You know what? All right, we'll give you that. So yeah, we're going to get two really good first. We get the sixth overall pick in the draft for an expiring contract, which I think is really good. And let's see who's available for us. Uh, we now even cleared up more cap space. The Rockets with the number one overall pick. Sh take Sheldon Arnold. What a terrible pick. He's 23 and only a 74. All right. Well, it's nice to see t uh, Houston mess up. The second pick is traded for Demonta Sabonis. Wow. And you get seven. It's pretty good. It's a good trade for Chicago. The Lakers are now up. They take Andrew Hamilton out of Kentucky. Um, doesn't look great either. Don't tell me this is a weak clash. Just tell me these teams are messing up. Spurs take Wade Rush. Uh, probably the best pick so far. We'll see who New Orleans takes. Brett Wellington. Okay. Highest overall to 79. And then Miami take a center because I'm not taking one, please. They trade the pick for De'Aaron Fox. Okay. Um, yeah, Sabonis and Fox traded here, and they are going to take, let's find out, Deion Davis, no, I think I was going to take him, oh, he doesn't even look that good, okay, I'm cool with that. So I think I'm going to go with J.R. Rhodes here, he's 19, his ceiling is Patrick Beverly, what, can he not shoot? Okay, played one game that could be classified here, I mean, he's one of the highest ranked prospects, he's only 19, do I just think 2K is wrong? Because I don't want a center. We could take Albert Mercer, a small forward. All right, you're going to scare me up, J.R. Rhodes. I'm going to take Mercer. His ceiling is Kiki Vanderway. His four is Bill Bradley. He has an A mid range, a C3, which hopefully we could develop. His defense, D minus. I mean, at least J.R. Rhodes' defense is an A plus. You know what? He could shoot. B plus three? No, no, no. I'm taking J.R. Rhodes. We're going to put him next to Cole Anthony next year. The dude is a beast three and D guy. That's perfect for us. What's his overall? Tell me it's good. 76 and 19. Yeah, I will take that. Roman Col uh, Colmack goes here to Chicago. Tower Cassell goes, I don't even know what team that was, San Antonio. Yeah, Colmack looks all right. Um, so does Cassell. So I think I might still go with Albert Mercer here. Or we could take Murray Knight, who has B plus three, A minus mid range. The defense isn't great. We can work on it. What's his ceiling? 
Uh, Rudy Gay. No, I'm going to take Murray Knight here. Where is he at? He's only 20 out of San Diego State. Next Kawhi, but he can't defend. And with our third first round pick, it's probably going to be somebody in the G League um, this year. We'll go with Everett Burns. Honestly, I really like this draft class for us. I do. So J.R. Rhodes is going to be our starting shooting guard next year, uh, who we got for Mikel Bridges, Murray Knight, our first round pick, and then Everett Burns there from the KD trade, picking up the team options on Gregory Jackson and Grady Dick. We could also be in the market for a small forward in free agency. We will give Cameron Thomas the qualifying offer. Matthew Cleveland as well, but I don't know if they're going to be back. So we do have enough uh, to not sign Jason Tatum. We have $35 million in cap space. We could go after Lowry Markkinen. We could go after Franz Wagner, DeRozan, Harris, Ingram, who's hurt. Hmm. Does have 11 offers though. I don't think I'm going to go after any of those guys. Jaden McDaniels for 17 mil. If we think he could blossom here in a larger role. McDaniels does have an A3 and an A defense. Honestly... For 17 mil, I'm going to monitor him because I would try to do what I did with Cole Anthony last year and try to develop him. I don't know if I'm bringing back Cam Thomas. So we could also look at potential shooting guards as well. I'm not signing Mitchell. Uh, we could look at Devin Vassell. He's 24 also. So we will have the Heat first round pick next year. Oh my God, we don't even have our first rounder. This is crazy. Uh, so we have the Hornets 2027 first. We have the Suns and Sixers 2027 first. That could be a big draft for us. And we're going to have the Suns 2029. We're going to have the Mavericks 2029. So yeah, I also would be open to bringing Cameron Thomas back on a uh, like nice bench contract. So we'll see where his price goes after free or moratorium is over. McDaniels has not been signed. He would fit our system, man. I would not mind giving him like a three-year deal. So I'm going to just keep monitoring him, seeing if we can maybe uh, bring him here to Brooklyn. Pistons don't even offer him a real contract, but I'm like, I don't know. He's like a lesser tier player in 2K. So I wonder if he would take one of those one-year deals. And then I would feel like, oh my God, like FOMO that I could have just got him for like a really good deal. Like 16 mil, eh, that's a little bit, you know? Maybe I do, hmm. He's not getting that long-term deal from any other team. Let's give him three years. Let's lower it. And I want to do a team option on the last year. So it's really a two-year deal. $14.5 million. We still have 12. Mm, he declined that. Okay. Okay. Let's keep waiting. Uh, does he get Like, I, I, it's not the end of the world if I lose out on him. So he would accept this for 15 mil or for 16 mil. Can I lower that to 14.5? So basically what we just offered him. Okay, let's go. So I think he will accept that offer and we would have 20 million left over. Okay, maybe he won't. I don't know. It's day 10. Did he sign it? Okay, so we get him. It's a two-year deal. Um, I think it's a low-risk, high-reward deal. Let's see Cam Thomas. Yeah, he wants $21 million. We're not doing that. Tatum is still here. That's kind of crazy. And I want to get another center. Um, we could look at Zach Collins. He's only 27. Yeah, let's get him. Um, and then I'm guessing we're going to get Cam Thomas back on the qualifying offer. And we will for $10.1 million. This team is still young. It's still rebuilding. We're like the biggest anti-Heat fans this year. All right, so it's definitely going to be Cole Anthony, J.R. Rhodes. We're going to start McDaniels. We got uh, Jackson and Claxton. Um, mm, we're not going to start McDaniels. He's going to be the sixth man. Or Cam Johnson, I think, could just continue being the sixth man, like our Jordan Clarkson. But we start McDaniels. Johnson's going to play a decent amount of minutes, though. I think Vincent can get about 20 along with Cam Thomas. So, yeah, Cam Thomas is going to get less minutes this year. I would like... I think Grady Dick's not going to play. I think Murray Knight is going to get the ninth man spot. So, no Collins, no Cleveland, no Burns. We had to sign uh, Colin Gillespie as well. What was he, a Nets franchise legend? Or Miami Heat? I think Miami Heat. So, it's going to look something like this. That's fine. We're going to go with the nine man rotation. I want to do 30... One to Johnson. Who do I have to lower minutes from? I think Rhodes is going to get like 27 as a rookie. We're going to go 29 to McDaniels. We're going to go 32 to the front court. And then let's go 34 to Cole Anthony. System proficiency under Chris Finch. Seven seconds is three stars, as you hear sirens probably right now. I'm intrigued on how this season starts. Let's see. We do beat the Sixers by nine to start the year. Okay, McDaniels with 23 points in 29 minutes. Uh, Jared Rhodes, seven rebounds, seven assists. Okay. Could be averaging that many assists for us. That'd be kind of nice. Home game against the Pistons. We do this by four, but they were one of the better Eastern Conference teams last year. Can we maybe start off the season two and one and give me hope? Nope. We get blown out by Memphis. All right. We'll see how this season goes. All right. So it's a new day for me. As you can tell, it is the all-star draft. I wanted to point out Ross Rivers, the first overall pick in 2024, already an all-star. There were no other first-time all-stars here. And honestly, we're disappointing than where I thought we'd be. And I feel like I keep saying this, which is kind of a shame because we're in year four now and we're approaching the 2026 trade deadline. Uh, and are we about to be seven games under 500? Yeah, so we're seven games under 500. We just beat the Philadelphia 76ers. Cole Anthony had 26 and 14, two steals as well. He's playing 
like good he's averaging just under 22 points just under six rebounds nine and a half assists also shooting 47 percent from the field 39 from 392 from the line i'll go into all the stats in a second i don't know if we need to make just like a big move to open up this team um because we already went over cole anthony cam johnson man he's so good 17.7 points, 4.3 rebounds, 2.8 assists, 46 from the field, 41 from three, 91 from the line. There's Nick Claxton, who's now down to an 82. I gotta check if he's hurt, because I don't know if he is. Uh, that's that's frustrating. Uh, Jaden McDaniels, I thought he's been playing pretty solid for us. 14 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 48, 39, 76 splits. Gregory Jackson in year 3. Uh, damn, we got off to so much of a better start, but he has been improving. Jarrah Rhodes, I thought, has had a good rookie season. 36 from 3, 50 from the field, 4.7 rebounds a night. Uh, Jacob Vincent hasn't really been all that. Um, and then there's Cam Thomas, who's probably on his way out. And there's Murray Knight. So it's unfortunate that Cam Thomas, yeah, like I said, is going to be on his way out. I may look at maybe who's on the trade block. I see Zeke Naji, Buddy Heald. O'Shea Obaji, no one too great. Paul George at a 78 overall. Victor Oladipo, same overall. Pacers legends, Asor Thompson, um, Bojan Bogdanovic. Okay, so there's really nobody on the block. Uh, the only thing I would think of, well, I do want to see my draft picks for this draft. So we just have Miami's first round pick. We don't have our first round pick. Um, and Miami's 24 and 31. So they're on their way to potentially being a lottery pick. What? How? How? You have De'Aaron Fox here. Okay, I would be more mad if I was the Heat. I don't know if they had any injuries. But wow. Um, what? The Pacers are 48 and 6? Oh, they signed Jason Tatum. They have Jalen Duren, KP, Nemhard, Halbert, and Mathurin are still there. They got Scoot Henderson. They're 48 and 6. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do. I might look to move Cam Thomas. All right, never mind. I don't like any deal I like. Cam Johnson expiring contract. I may have to move him. I don't know, though. How much is he asking for? And it sucks that Claxton's morale is down. So he wants to test free agency. He's expected around 27 mil. I think we might let him hit free agency. Ugh, I mean, are we going to have cap space this summer? Because I'm paying uh cole anthony all this money i'm paying claxton all this money who could potentially be a trade piece um if we're thinking about it so we'd have 16 million up i mean um well we'd actually have 26 million dollars cleared up we'd have a decent amount of cap space if we wanted to go after a bigger name in free agency so you know what i don't think i'm gonna make any trades i just want to make the playoffs so hopefully we can pick it up here in the second half like gregory jackson could put up these stat lines cole getting 11 assists but five turnovers cam johnson had 25 but like we lost by one to the pistons in overtime tough road stretch here but we beat milwaukee and we beat Cleveland, you know, I'll take that. Oh my God, seven straight wrong games. Oh my God, okay. Well, as I'm saying, we might be a, like flirt with uh, a top play in tournament spot. Nope, we go on a four game losing streak. Then on a three game winning streak, win two, lose. Okay, so we end the season all right. Uh, it's just that four game losing streak that one week, but we get the rookie of the year, Jarrah Rhodes. Hell yeah, 12 points, four and a half rebounds, 2.1 assist, 1.8 steals, 48 from the field, 36 from three. I will definitely take that. Keontae George is your sixth man of the year in Washington. Okay. Um, AD Depoy, most improved, goes to San Cisco, who's currently in the Rising Star game, I believe, out of the G League. Not very good, though. Are we shooting the ball? Rick Carlisle, obviously, of the Pacers, gets coach of the year. They finished 69 and 13. Are we going to get any Brooklyn Nets? We do. Gregory Jackson. If he's on all defensive first team, in which he is, okay. I think Gregory Jackson has now shot up, like, the rankings on who I want to build around. But how did he make All-NBA third team? I mean, average 6.7 assists. If he could just become more efficient of a shooter, man. I don't know, though. He's been really bad shooting the ball. Maybe we just trade him. Now uh, his value could be at the highest point. All right, so we actually finished the season as the 17. Well, shout out to the Eastern Conference being super competitive, where 38 and 44 team is the 17. What? A 40 and 42 team is the fifth seed. Okay, that's just embarrassing. But here are the numbers. Cole Anthony finished with 22, 6, and 9 and a half. Uh, there's Cameron Johnson, who had a great season in his age 30 year. Uh, there's Claxton. His rebounds were down, but his scoring was up. Blocks were down. McDaniels, I thought, had a really good first year in Brooklyn, 40% from three. There's Gregory Jackson, somehow all NBA third team. Rookie of the year, J.R. Rhodes, Jacob Vincent. There's Cam Thomas, who's... I don't even know if I want to play honestly he's definitely gone you know what he was just inefficient it sucks he didn't work out for us because i was really trying to develop him i might include grady do i want to put grady dick in as like the last spot maybe zach collins just to get some more big man depth he can get 12 minutes a night murray knight the ninth overall pick huh 
38 from 30, not too bad. Um, I might give him like 17 minutes there. Cam Johnson, 32. Claxton, 32. Jackson, 33. McDaniels, 33. How do I want to allocate these? I think I might go 29 to Rhodes. I might go 33 to Claxton. Maybe 32. Ah, he's such a good defender. 33 to Cam Johnson and then 35 to Cole Anthony. Can we beat the Boston Celtics and possibly advance here to the playoffs? We don't have our first round pick, so I want to make the playoffs. We have a pretty competitive first half. We blow our lead in the third. It's going to be a close fourth quarter. We're currently up by eight, and we are going to win this game by six. And the Brooklyn Nets have made it to the playoffs for the first time in this video. A triple-double from Cole Anthony, 21 points from Jaden McDaniels, and we don't have to take on the Pacers, too. It's the Detroit Pistons, who have Cade and Jalen Green, the number one and number two picks from the 2021 draft. They have Jet Howard. Pretty cool. Stays in the state of Michigan because he, he was a Wolverine. Isaiah Stewart, Thomas Bryant, Ivy off the bench. Oh, that's a good team. All right, game one against the Pistons. Can we maybe pull off upsets? Nope. Oh my God, we lost by two on the road. That hurts. Cole, man. Cole's playing so well. I'm not regretting that signing at all, but I would love for it to translate to wins on the court. Damn, we go down 2-0. Uh, we lost by 11. What did we just have? A bad th I mean, they outscored us in the first, the third, and the fourth. Uh, Cole had 37 and 13, but he did not shoot the ball that well. Claxton was somewhat efficient. Gregory Jackson flirted with the triple double. Game three, we go down 3 0. We lost by two. Oh my God. Really? We lost game one by two and game three by two. Can we at least win one game? I didn't mean to simulate the round, but either way, we get swept. We lost by 12. You know what? It was actually, I feel like, closer um, competitiveness, uh, but wow. Like, we got swept. Gregory Jackson shot. 40 from three, 30 from the field. I guess this guy can't shoot inside. Cole Anthony was solid. I don't know, though. The efficiency is not the best. Um, Jaden McDaniels was really efficient for us in those four games. Cam Johnson kind of, I guess, wish he shot the ball more. I think we need to add, like, a number one. I think Cole Anthony could be a good number two. Um, and we can develop him into that. But we need, like, a true number one. We'll see if we can find that in the offseason. I'm ready to make a big splash. Uh, Shea is your Western Conference Finals MVP. And Tatum, your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. Pacers Thunder in the finals. The Paul George series. And the Pacers win in seven. With Tatum being your Finals MVP. Of course, we're going to have to go through Indiana. Try to beat them now. Russ and Kawhi are going to the Hall of Fame. Los Angeles legends, you know. So did Miami not make the playoffs? Uh, no, they made, oh yeah, they were the fifth seed. Duh, when I said they were 40 and 42, which is abysmal. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have their pick at 18. Who's gonna have our pick? The Rockets is the final one from the James Harden trade. They get it at 16. All right, so it is the NBA draft. I don't think I'm gonna make a trade right now. Wow, Claxton really is unhappy. Hmm, interesting. Um, okay, I don't know what I'm gonna do necessarily i think i'm just gonna draft my player at 18 hopefully there's some good talent there antonio richmond out of uh, colorado state goes one 78 overall at age 20 for a wings pretty good christian meyer eh, doesn't look like all that who's like maybe the best guy in the class probably richmond yeah so with i don't know nick claxton's future on the table i'm gonna take gene lewis here with the 18th pick and then we ended up getting brad waters there in the second round he's just a point guard getting some more depth at that position i'm gonna pick up the team option on gregory jackson jacob vincent grady dick though for 4.9 i'm going to decline that he will be an unrestricted free agent uh, i'm not gonna extend the qualifying offers to colin gillespie or matthew cleveland uh and yeah let's go here into free agency evan mobley is here whoa um that'd be kind of cool kevin durant bring him back to brooklyn so right now we actually only have 28 million dollars in cap space i mean we could obviously get to 58 million if we were to move nick claxton which i don't really know who i would move him for how much is cam johnson asking for in free agency yeah about 30 million that's tough so like looking at our team i think we can keep developing our backcourt in Rhodes and cole so i don't want to touch the backcourt um we could look i like mcdaniels as our small forward but he could definitely come off the bench uh i think it's like i don't know gregory jackson i think we got to roll with at the power forward spot i mean him and claxton's a solid front court it's just claxton is just so mad here right now yeah um i don't really know what we could trade him for uh is there a better center in free agency i mean alan bam i could sign vucevic with the cap space or miles turner which i don't really want to do um i don't know if i even want to use my 28 million dollars right now i mean it's a star-studded class like there's a lot of elite free agents out here like Jaden ivy man since they have jalen green like he'd be somebody i would definitely target but i don't really know jalen brunson's here uh, i spent a year in la okay uh i think i'm gonna wait a little bit uh i'm not gonna read out starts on cameron johnson i am on thomas gillespie cleveland collins and dick um we'll see if cameron johnson gets a deal he's 30 years old i don't want to overpay for him i know he's been a elite shooter 
but at 30 mil a year, I don't think it's worth it. So after moratorium, uh, anybody big switch teams? Curry goes to the Jazz, okay. Uh, anybody else? Jalen Brunson goes back to the Lakers on a three-year deal. Sadiq Bay to Minnesota. Dylan Brooks to LA. I mean, Evan Mobley is now unrestricted, okay. Um, The Warriors, I can't really get there. I'd have to clear up about three million, which is possible. Huh. Let me, let me think about this. Uh, I could easily clear up that $3 million. I would move probably Jacob Vincent. Um, 6'10 out of Pepperdine. I thought he was going to be much better. I mean, he could still develop into a solid player. Would I move Murray Knight already? Probably not the greatest idea. I mean, Everett Burns and our previous second round pick, Brad Waters, I think I can move. Yeah, Everett Burns was the 23rd pick last year. And we're going to load up on some more draft capital. We're getting an unprotected first round pick from the Atlanta Hawks. We're trading Burns and Waters to the Spurs. That is from the... Um, what deal? De DeJounte Murray deal. So I can throw my hat in the Mobley sweepstakes. It's the most I can give him. I'll give him a player option. I don't think he's going to take it. I'd be very shocked. Yeah. So he ends up signing with the Warriors. I thought it was just worth a shot to get that contract out there. Paolo Bancaro. Huh. Talk about a stud coming to Brooklyn. Yeah. I, okay. I, I would sign Bancaro to a deal. Does he take our offer? I don't know. You would think he... I don't know. I don't think he's gonna. But he only has one real offer. All right. We just signed Paolo Bancaro. Can I still be weird, like, in the system and still sign Cam Johnson? Oh, that would have been sick. Did he sign elsewhere? He might have signed elsewhere. That's why I didn't say, like, I could have done anything with him. Did Cam Johnson get a deal? Uh, wait, I don't think he's signed elsewhere. Yeah, like, if I went on Cam Johnson 2K, I can only give him $19 million. Um, I'm gonna see if he would accept that on, like, the last day. Can I give anybody that? Like, Bull Bull? No, it's just Cam Johnson. All right, day 12. Okay, I think we can maybe get him back on a one-year deal. Would he take that? Oh my god, we're gonna get Cam Johnson back on a one-year deal. The Nets are gonna be good next year, guys. So we're gonna figure out these front court problems. Obviously, if Nick Claxton isn't gonna get it together, he's gonna get moved. Uh, Gregory Jackson... I guess is going to come off the bench, him and Cam Johnson, but I feel like we're a deeper team. We have our guy we're building around in Bancaro. We can all thank for Orlando being idiots and not bringing him back. And he also fits the timeline of our team as well. So it's going to be Cole, Rhodes, McDaniels, Bancaro, Claxton, Jackson, and Johnson coming off the bench. And then I think, yeah, Lewis is probably not going to get any minutes. We had to sign a couple other veterans like Devontae Graham, Tyrese Martin, Armani Brooks, Mason Jones. Um, so Gene Lewis, yeah, isn't going to play right away. I think Murray Knight and Vincent can get about 17 minutes a night. Um, how do I want to allocate this rotation? Bancaro can get 35. Claxton, 30. 31 there. Um, I think this is good. Maybe do 16, 16, uh, 28 to those guys. Yeah, we're going to run with something like this. Injuries are going to happen, so players will be inserted into the starting five. Three and a half stars under Chris Finch. Hopefully, we could be a top six seed in the Eastern Conference this season. All right, so we are at the All-Star Draft, and we're finally good. We are 38 and 16. Shout out to Paolo Bancaro. It is crazy, though, because Nick Claxton does not want to be here. Um, like, his morale is still down. Bancaro makes the All-Star game for the first time in his career. That's what happens when you come to Brooklyn, and he is a starter. 24.4 points, a career high. 7.8 rebounds, 5.3 assists. That's also a career high. 41% from three. That's a career high. Look who else is an all-star. Cole Anthony, 21 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, 9.5 assists. He's 48-40. I think that was 91 shooting splits. It is February 7th. We could look to be buyers at the deadline. We just lost by three to the Spurs, and we just beat the Grizzlies by four. So looking at the season stats right now, we've had couple injuries Gregory Jackson Gene Lewis kind of went in the rotation he got hurt um but yeah we already went over Ben Caro and Anthony's numbers Cameron Johnson still being efficient as hell I would honestly give him a two-year extension worth his 30 million dollars of his asking point like I'd pay 30 million just because he's an elite shooter for us off the bench Claxton I'll show you his morale kind of decrease it's it's weird Jared Rhodes improving in his second season mm, the efficiency has dropped just a tad bit Okay, but we know he's an elite defender. 1.6 steals a night, which is nice. Uh, there's Jaden McDaniels. His efficiency is dropped, but he's he's got 15 million left. Uh, there's Gregory Jackson. He's a weird piece, man. Well, unfortunately, he is hurt, um, I believe. Or did he just come back? Oh, no, no, he just came back. Good. Yeah, Claxton is unhappy. 
I should think about moving Gregory Jackson because I don't want to really extend him in the offseason. I know he's been all NBA third team for us, but I don't know. I don't love his game. And he's got three and a half star trade value, so I can get something for him. All right, so we're actually going to send Gregory Jackson to the Orlando Magic for Theo Hayes and K or Carson Wallace. Well, it's Casey Wallace. I'll change his name. Uh, Casey Wallace is going to slide in as our backup point guard. We really haven't had a good backup point guard in a little bit. We get Theo Hayes as well, who was drafted in 2025 um, in the first round. So he does have a little bit more team control after this season if we think we can develop him, but he's a little bit up there in age already, which is kind of crazy. I wasn't going to re-sign Gregory Jackson. Casey Wallace, I would look to re-sign um, as a good backup point guard. We have to throw in Devontae Graham in this deal. So yeah, we move on from Gregory Jackson. I think we sold high on his value. He's just not a good shooter. What is going on with Murray Knight's minutes right there? So Murray Knight and Vincent are going to get like 16 apiece. I think I'm going to go about 20, I think about 24 to Casey Wallace. And then I think 28 to Cam's fine. Claxton, we're going to keep, but he's most likely going to get moved in the offseason. Um, we're going to do something like that. So, yeah, it's a shame that, like, I, I would love to keep Claxton around. He just doesn't really like it here. Cole is up for an extension. I feel like we should bring him back because he could opt out in the offseason. I feel like we should. McDaniels does have a team option, though, yeah, so I think I'm going to bring him back. Cole, can we lower that a little bit? Like, he'll be making, like, $35 million, but he'll be, like, 30 years old. He's going to keep, I think, developing a little bit. You know what? Let's re... Mm, okay, he doesn't accept that. Um, let's lower it a little bit to 33 million over three years. He declines that. Okay. Well, let me just go to 34 and a half. Fine. Um, and he accepts that offer. So yeah, uh, Cole Anthony and Paolo Bancaro, that also could be like a little bit of a storyline tactic. Cole recruited Bancaro, um, one point at Duke, one point at UNC, but they both played in Orlando and they're going to be running this Brooklyn Nets team on uh, Nick Claxton. We could definitely get a good player for him in the off season. Cam Johnson, I, I would look to re-sign as well. Um, McDaniels, I'm probably going to pick up his team option because it's also like that perfect trade amount that I can include him in a trade. He's probably got three-star minimum trade value. And we are finishing up the season close to 60 wins. Are we going to get it? Come on, let's also stay fairly healthy because we could win our first championship this year. Oh, okay. Well, McDaniels gets hurt with two to four weeks left. I mean, we could easily throw in Cam Johnson in there, but that does hurt. So let me just even see what this playoff rotation is going to look like. Um, it's going to be this, uh, I guess we got to go to a ninth man. So I'll probably play Gene Lewis over Theo, Theo Hayes. So like Lewis can get 12 minutes. Murray Knight. I don't know if I trust him or Vincent more. I guess we probably Murray Knight just cause he's a wing guy. Uh, Wallace is probably going to get the six man minutes about 28 a night. Um, 35 to Cole, 37 to Bancaro, 32 there, 31 there. Um, maybe we do something like that. Yeah. So let's finish up the season strong. Josh Giddy of the OKC Thunder wins MVP. Rudy Posey, the third overall pick for the Sixers, is your rookie of the year. Jaden Ivey gets six man. Triple J, Depoy in Charlotte. Andrew Nemhard in Milwaukee. Wow. Shout out to him getting most improved. And Mark Dad, no coach of the year. So do we see any? Whoa, wait. Giannis is in New York. It's <laughs> pretty cool. Uh, we'll see if we see any Brooklyn Nets. And boom. Ben Caro, 25 and 8, all star, all NBA second team. Does Gregory Jackson make third team? That would have been funny, but we are going to miss his defense, but I don't think I'm going to miss his efficiency as oof. Okay, Tatum's going to be hurt for the playoffs. I do want to see where they ended up. Were they the two seed? No, they're the four seed. Uh, Tatum probably won't be back. I don't think he will be back by the time uh, we would possibly play them if we do advance. So let's see what happens. Shout out to Jarrah Road season, man. He's going to keep developing, which is nice. He's only 21 years old. We're taking on Boston, uh, Alvarado, Branham, Brown, Barnes, and Williams. They got Precious, uh, Trey Murphy, Bruce Brown, Paul Reed, and Austin Reeves off the bench. An interesting squad, but we are going to sweep them in round one. And we are taking on the Pacers, who ended up beating the Cavs in seven. Van Caro averaged 29, 8, and 6. Cole, 21, 6, and 10. Yeah, like I said, I think Cole Anthony can be an elite number two. I just didn't think he was all that as a number one. So it's still a really good team. They don't have Halliburton anymore. But they're starting Scoot Henderson. Okay. Oh, Halliburton's hurt. Oh my God, and Tatum's hurt. We have to beat them. We have to beat them. Oh, McDaniels is back too. Let's go. So Lewis is not going to play. I think Vincent's going to get like 10 minutes tonight. 14 to Murray Knight. Uh, Casey Wallace can get like 24. I think I'm just going to make McDaniels the sixth man with about 25 minutes tonight. Cam Johnson just has that experience. He's an elite shooter. I think I want to continue starting him. And there goes Nick Claxton. But we are up 3-0 before the Claxton injury happened. Um, game three, we ended up winning by 11. Shout out to JR Rhodes, man. Uh, in game one, we won by six. Bancaro went off. Rhodes had a nice game. Cole, not really. Uh, game two, Cole got back though. 38-9 efficiently. And can we end up sweeping them? 
Nope, we do gentlemen sweep them though. Uh, in game four, we ended up getting blown out by 41 points, okay. Um, and then in game five, we ended up winning 34, 12, and nine for Ben Carroll, 24, seven, and 10 for Anthony McDaniels played well also. So now we're taking on the two seeded Pistons who beat us last year. We're looking for revenge. Jaden Ivey is hurt. Wow, we're getting kind of lucky with some of these injuries to these teams. We win game one by 16. Cole with 31, 9, and 6. Johnson with 22, 17, and 10 for Bancaro. Game number two. Uh, Claxton's back. Let's go. How is Claxton still mad, dude? You're in the Eastern Conference Finals. You're like the longest tenured net here. He's, I think, the, him and Cam Johnson are the only nets that are technically, or that are on the team that technically like are on that it's a real life. They just got Cam Johnson. So it's really big Nick Claxton. That's why I don't want to trade Claxton. Because he's been here for so long. Eight years now. 31st pick in the draft. We lost game three. Game four. Bancaro, lower right leg stress fracture. He's out for the season. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we got our injury luck against the Pacers. Possibly the Pistons. And then we lose our best player. Our All-NBA player. <sighs> our All-Star. I don't even know what's going to happen now. Okay. So... I guess Case and Wallace, you can get 28 minutes. McDaniels, 32. Uh, 33 to Cam Johnson. 33 to Rhodes. 37 to Cole. Cole now has to be a number one option for us. Great. We're going to blow this 2-1 to one weed. Okay, we won game 3-3. Three three. Oh, J.R. Rhodes! Is J.R. Rhodes going to break out? 39-7-3 and 6. 6 steals. Game 4. Or game 5 we lost. Oh, by 5 in a shootout. All right, come on, Jarrod. Rhodes. He went to the line 14 times or took 14 free throws. Come on. Yes, we beat them in six, and we're in the NBA Finals. Cole Anthony, your Eastern Conference Finals MVP. We're going up against the Thunder, who had the coach of the year. They look mainly healthy. Uh, Rylan, uh, Rylan Rupert. I don't know why I said mainly healthy like that. Wow, I embarrassed myself there. They got Walker Custer, but he is hurt. A lot of injuries so far in this game one murray knight you're fine we win oh my god by six no ben caro no problem cam johnson elite shooting there's cole claxton 19 and 9 all right i'm nervous game two we lost okay that's fine by three. Oh, it was a close one game three we lost no we get blown out Rhodes 26 it didn't matter game four oh my god we get blown out yep our luck has ended murray knight this dude just gets hurt all the time he's pissing me off uh, all right game five. Oh my god we win we're alive we won by one point cole with 32 and 9 all right well i guess we'll simcast game six can we force a game seven of the nba finals all we got to do is win at home in which we're up by 17 oh my god we come back down three to one we're forcing a game seven <laughs> we win by 12 cole with 32 and 12 mcdaniels with 21 5 and 5 and here we are no ben caro game seven of the nba finals in okc don't get blown out please please don't get blown out oh my god you come back three now one and we're down by 19 uh all right well sure god damn it siri we just got blown out in the finals why make me come back three to one if you're gonna make me lose by 42 Oh, the Thunder win it all. Shades your finals MVP. At least I know we'll be back. There goes KD, Harden, DeRozan, Curry, Butler, McCollum. Um, I think Burry, a uh, Burry, wow. Curry, Butler, Harden, DeRozan will make the Hall of Fame according to 2K standards. Yep, and I was correct. Uh, so Chris Finch, we are definitely keeping around as our head coach. Draft Fodder, I actually kind of forgot where I am picking here. This is the 2027 draft, and boom, boom, boom. Those Phoenix picks have not been good so far till now. And we also have the Philly pick from the uh, Ben Simmons Harden deal. Okay, we just lost in the NBA Finals, and we might have two top five picks. All right, so that fifth overall pick from Philly, I believe can fall to seven. Um, if it gets super unlucky, it does not. Okay, we're chilling. So are we going to have two top five picks? I mean, this is really where we can build a dynasty in the back half of this video. Uh, so that pick does drop to six, which is fine. I would like for that Phoenix pick to stay in the top three. Um, it doesn't drop to five, which is nice. Rarely does when you have like the number one odds um, at the number one pick, you stay at number one. But hey... It's going to stay in the top three. Are we going to pull our 2019 Knicks and it's going to drop to three from one? Um, no, it's in the top two. 
Thank you, Phoenix. And next year, we also have a swap with them. Um, so we end up with the number one pick in the draft. Come on. I need a Ross Rivers in this class. I need a Ross Rivers. It would make me feel better about trading Claxton. We have four first round picks, 29, which is ours. 18 from Atlanta from the deal uh, last year, clearing up that cap space with San Antonio. Um, and then we also have one and six. So we are in definitely positioned to make a trade. But we can just have like a ton of depth. Like I don't love Murray Knight. I don't think he's really worked out. Uh, so like right now, like going into next year, we have Anthony. I would like to extend Wallace. Um, we have Jarrah Rhodes, so I could look to draft another guard. He's going to be a free agent. So is McDaniels. Wow, I actually don't know if I'm... I think we got Cam Johnson. That's a free agent. My controller is glitching out. So I don't really know if I'm going to extend Case and Wallace. Um, okay. Uh, there is no Ross Rivers, but uh, Ronaldo Kudo, of course, the position we already have figured out power forward. That's where he is. Um, okay. I think I got to take him number one. He's 19. He's an 80 overall. He definitely seems like the best pick here. And yeah, we get him under contract for four years. We're going to take him, uh, Ronaldo Kudo, out of Brazil. So we are on the board here at six. Uh, Norberg goes. He's a 80 overall center. We just have so many centers on the team. Um, so I might take uh, Ianku uh, Kalmushi, uh, 78 overall shooting guard. What's his ceiling? Mitch Richmond. Uh, is he a good 3D guy? A minus three points scoring. D plus defense. Ugh, Okay. Um, that's not great. We could take another center, which I don't really want to do. Pau Gasol, your floor is Pau Gasol. I mean, okay. That's interesting. Craig Jameson, you know what? We'll take him. So that means like Theo Hayes aren't, isn't going to really play for us. And then like Gene Lewis uh, with my next pick. I kind of want to trade these first. All right, so I'm going to trade 18, 19, and 59 for a first round pick from the Pelicans from the Bucks um, a few years down the road. And yeah, we got an 80 overall added to the team. We have a 79 overall, just kind of new front court pieces. Murray Knight, honestly, I'm going to keep him around for at least one more year, but it looks like he's entering that uh, bust territory, sadly. Same with Jacob Vincent. I mean, he was the 15th overall pick, so I'm not really going to call him a bust. Uh, Keeson Wallace, uh, sorry that it's his Carson. I got to change his name, actually. Let me just... Well, if I keep it, I'll do it. Um, I guess we don't have cap space on Cam Johnson. Oh, okay. Well, then that's going to be like, all right, well, we're going to get worse there. Uh, he only wants 19 mil, which is definitely what I would pay for. So, um, yeah, I guess just for Case and Wallace, um, I'm going to sign him after moratorium. It is going to hurt losing Cam Johnson, um, but I'll still see if I can try to resign him. So, four-year deal, if I can lower that to 16 mil, I think that would be kind of nice. I mean, if I went to all positions here at small forward... Cam Johnson, where are you at? Um, or is he listed as a power forward still? Power forward. Wants 31 mil. I could give him 23. Would I do that? Um, run this team back. He's an elite shooter, man. One of the best three-point shooters of all time. You know what? Uh, Cam Johnson and that are the guy technically on the nets. So let's do that. Um, I'm just going to give him a two-year deal. Take him to his like, age 33, 34 season. Um, I think he will accept that. I also think Wallace will accept it too. Okay, maybe not. Both of them are taking their time. Let me get them both. Uh, Kaysen and Cameron are back. I'm trying to win a championship next year. So, like, I want to have this team just to be absolutely stacked. Uh, can I make Kaysen a name? Or is that going to get flagged under 2K's uh, naming thing here? Um, no, we're good. Player progression. Bancaro's up to a 93. Claxton doesn't regress um, or go down. So, you know what? I think we're going to keep him. We haven't been seeing a lot of player progression from everybody. But Bancaro just went up three overalls. All right. So, we're here in the 2027-28 season. Anthony Rhodes McDaniels, uh, not Vincent. Oh, Bancaro's starting the season hurt. Wait, how long is he out for? That normally doesn't happen where they start off the season hurt. Wow, this was a really bad injury. Uh, so if we look at the Brooklyn Nets injury report, whoa, Giannis is hurt to start the year too. Already sore left knee. He's out four to six weeks. So he's going to be out like the first month to start the season. Um, well, I guess that's going to be nice to play Arnaldo Kudo, our first round pick. I think Vincent is probably going to get like 15, 14 minutes a night. I'm definitely not playing Murray Knight. Um, so we'll see what this looks like when Bancaro comes back. I'm going to do 22 to Jameson, 25 there, 27 to Cam Johnson, 30 to Claxton. Kudo can get 28 as a rookie. McDaniels, 30. That's fine. Rhodes, 31. And Cole can get 33. So that's just to start the season. Like home game against Milwaukee. Can we win? Um, no Bancaro. Going to take its time to sim. Okay, we end up giving up 139 points. That's not good. Jabari Smith had 47 and 9. Can we at least get one a win here against Boston or Atlanta? Um, okay, we do beat Boston by six. Boston has Luca now. Okay, um, McDaniel's was our leading scorer here, and against the Hawks, Casey Wallace was our leading scorer. 
All right, so we're here at the All-Star Draft. We are killing it once again. I also made a new rotational change. Bancaro is an All-Star starter again. You got Ross Rivers for the second time. No Cole Anthony, unfortunately, but I will show you guys a new rotation. And boom, Bancaro is our starting small forward. The dude was shooting 40 plus percent from three, and he's even shooting better now. So I was like, let me put him at the three. Why not 6'10 there? Because I wanted to start Ronaldo Kudo. He's like the number one overall pick, and I'm playing him like 22 minutes off the bench. Let me at least start him to see what he can do. He's there in the front court with Claxton. We got Jarrah Rhodes um, and Cole in that backcourt still. Johnson, McDaniels, Wallace, and Jamison. I mean, this team is really deep. We are 43 and 11. I'm just hoping we can stay healthy when it all matters, but we will see when that time comes. Like, Murray Knight's gotten some playing time. Like, well, Craig Jamison's actually playing. Uh, Theo Hayes has gone in there, Jacob Vincent, but they're not really in the rotation. I'm not going to make any trades at the deadline. Um, I already really like this team a lot, and I don't think I'm going to move it. I just wanted to see, okay, McDaniels. Probably going to get priced out on Jaden McDaniels. I don't think I'm going to be re-signing him in the offseason, which is fine, which is fine, um, because we do have a pick swap with the Suns this year, and we also have four first-round picks next year, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, let me see where the Suns are this year. Please tell me they were bad. And oh man, was it worth it? I mean, I think they did win a championship with KD. I'll have to double check. But yeah, we're going to be getting the Suns first round pick. Um, our trade with the Rockets walked because uh, so we can run with the uh, Suns trade because we didn't get anything out of that Rockets trade. We got screwed so many times. And no, they actually didn't win a championship. All right, so we're towards the end of the year. Craig Jamison just got hurt for four to six weeks, which is fine. I mean, it's the last man in our rotation. So if somebody's going to get hurt, we're okay with it being Craig Jamison. Just don't be... Cole Anthony, don't be Paolo Bancaro, don't be Nick Claxton. We finished the season with a 65-17 and 17 record. Scoot Anderson wins MVP. Alexi Carvalho of the New York Knicks is your Rookie of the Year. Wow. He looks all right. He looks all right. Why do all these big men average like so many assists? Keontae George, sixth man of the year. Don't know why Washington didn't keep him. Wemby, Depoy, Cisco. Oh, is he efficient now? I mean, he's... Yeah, pretty efficient. All right, shout out to Cisco. Uh, we get Coach of the Year with Chris Finch. Wow. What a season, or what an improvement from him, from Sid. All right, um, Luca and Boston Tatum. Oh my God, Indiana is also just so good. I'm scared to face that with Henderson and Tatum. Oh, and there's Gregory Jackson. He ends up not even staying in Orlando. Ugh. I mean, look at that efficiency though. Is he Draymond? He might be Draymond, uh, because we know how good of a defender he is, and he can pass the ball pretty well. Also, yeah, that's basically a, that's a pretty good comp. Uh, Draymond Brown's in Portland, so Boston looks completely different now. He gets all defensive first team. Uh, we did get Paul Bancaro on all NBA third team. And we did get Jarrah Rhodes on all defensive second team. So we are the one seed. Indiana is the two seed. Um, we are going to just show you guys the player stats from this past season. Bancaro led us in scoring, followed by Cole Anthony, who averaged 9.4 assists. Jarrah Rhodes, Cam Johnson, who shot 44 from three, 96 from the line. Claxton, McDaniels, and Wallace. This is McDaniels probably last run as a net. So for the playoffs, uh, Theo is not that bad, man. He played fairly well. He's going to get about 14 minutes. I think McDaniels, I mean, he shot well from three, but he's going to get like 22 minutes tonight. I think Casey Wallace is also going to drop to about 20 minutes there. Uh, Claxton needs 30. I think Ronaldo Kudo, 10, 5, and 3 as a rookie is fine. The efficiency actually is pretty good for a 19-year-old. So he's going to still play 25 minutes a night. 36 to Bancaro, 33 to Rhodes, 34 to Cole, and we're going to do one more to Claxton. All right, so... Round one against the Chicago Bulls. They still have Lonzo and Levine. They got Kyle Filipowski from Duke. We should be able to beat them, um, especially as a one seed. Craig Jameson. Okay, that scared me. I mean, Theo Hayes has actually been pretty good. But no, nah, I mean, like, we'll play Jameson. Just because, like, we just drafted him sixth overall. I'd like to develop him. Not have another Murray Knight situation. And we end up sweeping the Chicago Bulls in game four. We ended up beating them by 22. Bancaro dominated those four games. Cole Anthony went off as well. Jarrah Rhodes, pretty good. Come on. I want to win a championship with this team, man. I do. Oh, we're going up against LaMelo, Cisco, Triple J, and Turner. Holy defense. And, like, we might lose to them. That's a good team in Charlotte. Oh, my God. Okay. McDaniels gets hurt. He's out four to six weeks. He's probably out for the playoffs. Well, his Brooklyn Nets probably uh, time is done. Three years here. Not bad. Maybe he still helps us get a championship. I do want to start. Or we're going to probably give minutes to Hayes. I don't really want to play Murray Knight. So, I got eight more to deal with. Let's do two, more, three more to Johnson. 33 to Claxton. 37 Bancaro. 34 roads and we'll do one more to kudo um sorry if i'm butchering his name and can we still beat them yes we swept the charlotte hornets i mean in round one yeah it was the bancaro and anthony show in round two 
pretty much same thing. J.R. Rhodes stepped up. McDaniels was playing well before he got hurt. Now we're taking on the Pacers. We beat them last year, but they did not have Tatum or Halliburton playing. We beat them in game one, though. We dropped 52 in the fourth. Mancaro and Cole combined for 56. Game two, we win. We are undefeated in the playoffs right now. Shout out to Jared Rhodes for five steals there. Game three, oh my god, we have yet to lose a playoff game. Ho oh, ho, Cole with 34, 5, and 13. Also three steals. And there is our first playoff L. Okay, just don't blow a 3-0 lead. Don't make me go to a game seven. Okay, you're going to do that to me, aren't you? Just win in six, please. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You're really doing this to me, 2K? You're really going to make me go up 3-0 just to lose here in game seven at home? Come on, don't lose this game. Oh my god, it's going to be a close one. I can't do this. I'm too stressed. We're down by six. We're down by one. We have the lead. Oh my god, we're up by one. We're going we're gonna to lose, aren't we? We're really going to lose. We're really going to blow a 3 0 lead. Don't do this to me, please. Don't do this to me. Oh, my God. God damn it. Oh, my God. This sucks so much. We end up losing. And it's a Mavericks Pacers finals. We blew a 3 0 lead. How does that happen? Pacers win it all. Scoot Henderson's your finals MVP. They beat the Mavericks in six. The Mavericks team has Shea now. Oh, my God. So, last year... We, I think, beat the Thunder in game one and then lost in five with no Bancaro. This year, with Bancaro, we blow a 3-0 lead in the conference finals. Like, come on. All right, so we will have the Phoenix Suns first round pick. And it's actually a pick eight. Huh? It's not that great. All right, so with the ninth overall pick, I'm kind of debating who I'm going to take. I think it's going to be Chester Wolf, a 20-year-old um, small forward out of Stanford. This draft really wasn't the best. Uh, definitely Albert Steele was the best player. I was hoping he was going to fall to me, but he did not. Um, Wolf is a 75 overall, and we got Tyron McDaniels, who's just one overall lower that we got at 41. I'm hoping I can get enough play, uh, playing time to develop Wolf. I'm actually going to decline Murray Knight's team option on the fourth year. I think Gene Lewis as well, since we have Jameson and Theo Hayes, who are much better. Jacob Vincent, I am not giving $9 million to um, in free agency as well. So just like we've like had a lot of draft picks in this video so far. Some have panned out, some haven't. I'm not paying McDaniels that much money. And um, I'm actually going to renounce the rights on everybody here. So we are going to have a clean sheet going forward. Um, we are going to look to see what we need to add. Like if I was going to go to the salary cap breakdown, we're good at point guard. I, I think I should definitely look to add another wing. Um, we're fine with front court depth for sure. Um, Bancaro is going to start for us at three. Wolf will be a backup. So I think just getting another shooting guard um, who I don't need to play. Yeah, like a Derek White, good system fit, solid veteran. I can get him on the minimum. Might sign a couple of those. Oh, well, he signs with uh, Houston, so we aren't going to get him. Uh, so let's pivot to hmm, Austin Reeves. Yeah, uh, two-year deal. I mean, sure. Uh, Gary Harris. Did we have him at one point? No, um, but I'll give him a one-year deal too. I actually don't think I can sign both of them. Am I going to get any of these guys? Okay, there we go. Um, so we can't sign off some Reeves. Johnny Juzang out of UCLA. Just like some shooting guard depth. Player progression. Uh, Kudo went up to an 83. Anthony progressed. Claxton progressed. No more J.R. Rhodes progression. Come on. This is also a loaded draft class for us. I believe we have four first round picks. Because I know this is the last one from the KD trade. We have that Pelicans one that we traded with the Bucks last year. Uh, we have our first. And we have the first round pick from the... Kyrie Irving trade. Uh, so yeah, those are still kind of having an impact on us. Bancaro is going to start um, as the starting small forward. Kudo Claxton, 30 apiece. Let's do 31 to the backcourt. Um, bench is going to be Cam Johnson, Kaysen Wallace, Craig Jameson, Theo Hayes. I think, yeah, for now. And then the first person to get in is going to be Chester Wolf if any injuries do happen. I mean, we won 65 games last year. We blew a 3 0 lead in the playoffs. You're like, all right, Cam Johnson immediately hurt. Like, Wolf, you're going to come in and you're going to get 26 minutes a night as the six man. So, yeah, like, it sucks that we blew a 3 0 lead last year. Let's hope that we could just still be, like, one of the best teams in the NBA this year. Bancaro at 57 points on opening night. Okay. Once again, Paolo Bancaro is a starter in the All Star game. Dyson Daniels, Jalen Duran are some other first time All Stars. So, it was Alper and Shangun, which is pretty cool. We are 30 games above 500 right now, but I just want to win a championship, man. Like, we've been a regular season team the last two seasons. And it's amounted into two kind of chokes. One was an injury, uh, but last year was a really big choke job. Uh, Renato Kudo is definitely a developing man as our starting power forward, which is nice. Uh, there's J.R. Rhodes. Nick Claxton is a free agent at the end of the year. We're going to see what's going on with him. Um, Wolf played pretty well in the games he played. Like, right? Claxton's a free agent. He will not resign. He wants to test free agency. I might get priced out of $47 million. And, like, I kind of like what Theo Hayes 
um, and Craig Jamison have been doing for us. So there's a chance um, Claxton is gone. Um, and Cam Johnson, I wouldn't have bet him to be the longest tenure net. He's also a free agent as well. Um, he's been having a weird year. He was hurt for actually a decent amount of it. So we're going to go past the deadline here. We're going to see what we can do um, in the second half of the season. Hope we just claim the one spot in the East and we win it all. All right, when Baniyama wins MVP Rookie of the Year is Grant Hardaway. He was an undrafted rookie. Wait, that's pretty sick. Undrafted Rookie of the Year. Keontae George, Six Man of the Year. That's just what he does. He's won it in Washington, Philly, and Memphis. The modern day Lou Will. Uh, do we get Coach of the Year again? Yes, we do. And Chris Finch. John ja Moran is in Philly. And okay, well, a guy we drafted, Gregory Jackson. Oh my God. Okay, like good stats. 51% true shooting. Still super inefficient. But the dude can flat out defend, rebound, and pass. Do I regret it? A little bit, but I mean, we have Ben Caro now. Oh man, but I could have had both. I don't know how they would have. Well, I could have just played Jackson at the four and end up doing what I did anyway. Ben Caro at the three, but Ben Caro all NBA first team makes me feel a little bit better. Uh, no JR Rhodes on an all defensive team, and we're going to be the one seed in the East once again. Take it on Milwaukee. Um, so yeah, great Jackson revenge series. Here were the stats Cole Anthony, 19 and 9. He's still putting up really good numbers, being super efficient for us. And then there's Kudo, who developed in his second season. Jared Rhodes is due for his post-rookie extension. He's going to be somebody weird to re-sign, but I think I'm going to just because I value his defense a ton. Um, Claxton, Wallace, Johnson, Chester, Craig, Cam, Kaysen, Cole. We have a lot of guys with the uh, first letter of their first name starting with C. Uh, I don't think I'm going to edit the rotation too much. I think for Theo Hayes and Craig Jameson, I think I might keep Jameson there. Just lower them a tad. Uh, Wallace down. Cameron Johnson's a weird player for us now, but he's going to get 25 minutes a night. Let's do 31 to the front court, 38 to Bancaro, 32 to Rhodes, 32 to Cole. We're taking on the Milwaukee Bucks in round one. Frederick Law, Kevin Herter, Gregory Jackson. They are benching Jabari Smith now, and they have Jeremy Shohan. Interesting. Um, power forward depth while well, Cam Johnson gets hurt. Love that. I don't actually love that. That was being sarcastic, but can we still sweep them? Gentleman's sweep is fine. Okay, Cameron Johnson is back. Chester Wolf, man, I think he actually could be pretty good for us. Um, so, like, if Cameron Johnson is gone next year, he is going to get definitely a minutes increase. But we are also going to have so many new rookies and draft picks coming in. Um, so, can we, gentlemen, sweep them? And we do. So, now we're going to be taking on the Atlanta Hawks in round two. Bancaro with 31, 10.5, and, and 6.8. Now, we're taking on the Atlanta Hawks here in round two. We have Fox, Hero, Leonard Miller, Boris Lydon, Herman Blount, OJ Nanobi, Max Christie. Okay. Can we beat them in advance here to the conference finals? Yes, we can. And we can look to get revenge on the team that and like embarrassed us last year as we blew a 3 0 lead. I'm going to simulate the round. They do have Tatum. They brought back Sabonis. Do they not have Halliburton? No, Halliburton's hurt. This man just gets hurt in the conference finals, which is crazy. Can we beat them? Please. Yes, we win in seven. Let's freaking go, man. We're in the NBA finals. Paolo Bancaro, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. So we're back in the finals for the second time in three years we won by one in game seven thank god i pressed simulate round because i would have had a heart attack if i had to go with that live and we're going up against the team that beat us a few years ago they don't have shea gillardus alexander anymore come on let's win the nba finals please please yes we win in seven let's freaking go we win the conference finals and the nba finals in seven games paulo bancaro is your finals mvp let's freaking go man oh that feels so good to finally have won a championship and we just won in seven games. Each way, this one was in overtime. I think if I watched this happen, I would have collapsed between the conference finals and that. Oof, that just feels good, man. That feels good. Bradley Beal retires. I'd assume he's going to head to the Hall of Fame. I saw Dikemi Matumbo, or no, Patrick Matumbo, as a uh, coach. Tibbs retires as the Memphis coach. That was Minnesota, not Memphis. Wow, I got to like stand up after that. That was crazy. I can't believe that um, we could have a lottery or we're going to have a top 14 pick from Phoenix. That's it, though. It's kind of mid. No Dallas luck there. No Pelicans luck there. Uh, so that Suns picks at 11. Pelicans at 16. Dallas at 27 and us at 30. And eh, not the best. So Chris Finch has brought us to two NBA Finals in three years. He's brought us to three straight conference finals. We definitely have to bring him back. All right, so uh, Big Caro, yeah, we gotta get an extension done with him. Cole's got 40 mil on his final year. I think I would like to package some of these picks to move up. I wanna see if I can move the two in the 20s and the 11th pick to move up to seven. They say no. I would like to keep pick 16. Okay, so let's, instead of trying seven, let's try like, I guess nine. With Minnesota, oh, they have the Stepien rule on right now. Who's got pick eight? Whoever has pick eight, please don't tell me you have the Stepien rule. Charlotte 
and they say yes to that okay so we have the eighth overall pick in this draft willard hopkins out of unc is the number one pick yeah it makes sense 83 overall already no like notable studs going after there's a 70 overall 23 year old or no 20 year old okay um i think i don't really want to take another front court guy we could take billy haynes here a small forward jp cox though a shooting guard patrick beverly is going to be a good defender 6 4 i like it why not and then with our other first round pick we ended up taking carl stanley he wasn't as good of an overall another kind of like two-way guy um kudo jameson and mcdaniels we're going to pick up the team options not on mcdaniels though so theo hayes and jr Rhodes, i will be extending the qualifying offers to i don't expect them to really get offers in free agency so to adam's here um cloxton 50 million dollars i think he's done as a brooklyn net unfortunately i would like to bring back theo hayes and jr Rhodes. uh cameron johnson you know what on a one-year deal probably his last year in brooklyn i'll do that so yeah that is gonna end the time for nick claxton in brooklyn it was a good what 11 years 10 years in brooklyn he ended up getting a championship but we're moving in a different direction so i'm gonna whoa jared rhodes wants that much money okay well that's just not gonna happen theo hayes i'm actually gonna give a two-year deal to at about 10 million a year and on the last day jared rhodes for 28 million dollars you know what for three years let's lock him up man he was just they started kind of like best defender on our championship team he's gonna get paid not a lot of progression out of him though which is kind of unfortunate so yeah this is everybody here uh cole anthony's possible final year in brooklyn as well this year all right so this is gonna be the starting five anthony rhodes bencaro kudo hayes with wallace jameson johnson wolf and jp cox off the bench this isn't proficiency under finch is four stars let's see how this team can do with no nick claxton all right another year where paul bencaro is an all-star starter in the eastern conference we did not get any other all stars it looks like from our team i saw ross rivers was one over there um on the other team uh here are the stats here at the all-star kind of draft day nothing too crazy uh seeing renato kudo ball out has been nice to see so i'm thinking like for next year like oh i'm always looking ahead uh point guard like cole i might get priced out of so therefore i think case wallace could probably take the full-time reigns as our starting point guard next year which i'm pretty hyped for we have Rhodes as our starting shooting guard jp cox is gonna hopefully get a little bit better next year like wings were fine we'll see if we're moving back cam johnson and front court were kind of fine as well so yeah i think like cam or case wallace could be our point guard going forward if cole anthony isn't back especially if he wants 40 million dollars which i don't know if i'll pay we are 40 and 12 at the moment so we're killing it oh yeah and i also want to re-sign mr paulo bancaro yeah let's do that give him anything he wants actually all right so we finish up the season with like 63 wins uh world hopkins the number one pick gets rookie of the year uh theo hayes most improved our starting center okay i also want to see where nick claxton ended up he got a one-year 37 million dollar contract to stay in new york but ended up with the new york knicks so here is our kind of stat sheet from this past season kudo man he is getting better and better like he is supposed to be as the number one overall pick he's already an 85 overall so we're taking on philly in round one they do have john morant a couple current knicks in real life quickly and randall they have killed in johnson as well they got brandon miller the alabama wing stud and we are going to hopefully beat them we do we end up sweeping them can we stop getting so many injuries it's all like minor ones but they're scary man like i'm not trying to get like c players get injured right now um then carol balled out in round one we're taking on lefteris diama to pop <laughs> what the hell is that name dude guy um yeah we should beat this hawks team um and now that i said that they're gonna beat us nope we end up sweeping them and then we have a battle of new york here in the conference finals bancaro going off the knicks have jalen suggs kobe white sid cisco he is now a new york nick jonathan kaminga and nick claxton of course we're taking on nick claxton the revenge series there's Al alexi carlisle who won i believe rookie of the year a few years ago can we beat them and go to the nba finals oh we sweep them we're 12 and 0 right now in the playoffs bancaro is your eastern conference finals mvp kate cunningham in utah is your western conference finals mvp they also have Kyrie, kuzma kessler wemby kessler ended up back in utah they got Wemby though. Wemby and Cade. That's pretty good. Can we beat them? We're in our third finals in four years. And we go undefeated in the playoffs. What? Let's freaking go. Bancaro is your finals MVP. Oh my goodness. Oh, J or Jared Rhodes, man. I love to see you balling out after I paid you all that money. Kudo 
balls out in the playoffs as well. Cole Anthony, 17 and 9. I feel like I gotta bring him back. I don't know now. Kyrie Irving is going to the Hall of Fame. Zach Levine gets his jersey retired by the Bulls. You're telling me Kyrie didn't get his jersey retired by any teams out there? Do we have a random lottery pick? We do not. Um, so we are just going to have our pick at 30. We end up drafting Taylor Tate with the 30th overall pick. He's a wing or more of a forward, I guess I should, I should say. Uh, kudos coming back on the team option. Jameson Wolf did get hurt at the end of the year towards left Achilles. Uh, but I'm going to bring him back for $6.6 million. A lot of guys at the top here opted out and are going to be free agents. So how much is Cole Anthony asking for? He is asking for $48 million. Yeah. Um, he spent how many years in Brooklyn? Six years in Brooklyn. I think we're going to go to the Case and Wallace train. Um, we don't really have much money besides that. I just don't think I'm going to pay that for somebody that's 30. I'm going to bring back Cameron Johnson on a one-year deal because he still shoots the lights out of the gym. So yeah, we've gone through Nick Claxton. We've gone through Cole Anthony. I think giving Cole Anthony, like my vision, like the Jalen Brunson signing, like you get a larger role, you can really perform well. We got him in his prime as well. Cole Anthony was great for us. It's just at the end of the day, he wants a little bit too much money. So I'm going to go out and sign, I think, Rock Dragic, if I can snag him to be the backup point guard. Let's see, out of Slovenia. He's restricted. He does not get matched. All right, so we'll see if we take a step back this season. Let's see if Kaysen Wallace can ball out as, like, our full-time point guard, starting point guard. So JP Cox is probably going to be the ninth man. Stanley, Tate, and Wolf will be in there in case any injuries happen. Can't believe Wolf's already hurt to start the season. That hurts a lot. Uh, Hayes, I do want to start at the center over Craig Jameson. Ah, uh, Maybe we'll give Craig James in the starting spot, but I think they're both going to get 26 minutes a night. Cameron Johnson as a six man, he can get 26 as well. Kudo, 33. Bancaro, 35 for the regular season. He's still in his prime at a 95 overall. JP Rhodes, 32. Um, and then Kaysen Wallace, 32 as well. So let's see with this team with no more Nick Clax than we know. No more Cole Anthony now. Let's see if they can still be the one seed in the East. Great. As we're towards the end of March, Bancaro gets hurt. He's out four to six weeks, having another elite season in his fifth year in Brooklyn. That just hurts, man. We are 60 and 12. And oh my God, there goes Kudo too. But yeah, 60 and 13. I don't know how well we're going to finish. I did expect extend case in wallace though because he was averaging 16 and 9 he's due for an extension at the end of the year so i was like wait yeah i got to um extend him which is nice like he's been great as a starting point guard for us and there goes theo hand or theo hayes as he broke his hand why is everybody getting hurt right now like this wasn't happening all year and now it does like when it's close to the playoffs why couldn't have this happen in in january or february hell even the beginning of march why does it have to happen in mid to end april can van carroll come back before the season ends oh hell yeah i'm not gonna have to play chester wolf in the playoffs even though he's good he's a good three or, or free throw shooter uh really elite at that and he's a good like with twos his threes aren't great uh can we beat chicago is this our last game of the year it is Wemby gets mvp in utah ricky Wyans rookie of the year Second overall pick to Denver, Jalen Pierce, six man. Hate seeing that, hate seeing that, but we do get coach of the year once again. No Bancaro on the first two teams, but he does make all NBA third team. Shout out to J.R. Rhodes and all teams of the second team. And yeah, he had a career year this year. We are the one seed in the East taking on Charlotte who have Wiggins, Delano Banton, Rod Nicholson. I almost traded Gregory Jackson for him, but I ended up, I forgot. Well, it was for Casey and Wallace, yeah. Um, which I guess we might have lost that trade. I don't know. But yeah, those are the numbers. Rhodes and Kudo balled out. Like, Kudo getting so much better. Kudos to him. <laughs> uh, yeah, Casey and Wallace, I did extend because he had a great season, as you could see. So he's getting paid over the next couple years. Even though I do believe next year is the final season. Even Taylor Tate played, like, all right in his minutes played. Not, like, the best, not the, the worst. So the playoff rotation right now, um, Tate, you're going to get, like, I think 15 minutes a night. Cox can get 13 as well. Drogic, I think he he's fine at 17. Johnson, 30. Jameson, 29. 34 to Kudo. 37 to Bancaro. We're going to do one more to J.R. Rhodes. Should be fine against Charlotte. I'm just scared going up against Detroit or Indiana in round two. We end up winning in five. Let's go. Hayes is back. That's what I'm talking about. Can we beat Detroit in round two? Oh, yeah. We end up gentlemen sweeping them. Now we got Cleveland. Haven't seen them here in a while. They still have Garland and Jared Allen. Jared Allen against his former team. Wallace gets hurt. Really? Ugh. I don't know who to put a point guard. I, I guess it's Dragic. Yeah. Even though he's not like much of a passing point guard. Um. Well, that just sucks. Why did he have to get hurt? But we should be fine against Cleveland. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, we won in seven. <laughs> we were up 3-0 and then they came back. Bancaro is your uh, Eastern Conference Finals MVP. So Dragic is hurt now. Who is going to start at point guard? Do I just let Theo Hayes run it? JP Cox? 
Ugh. I mean, I don't know, because Dragic is hurt now. I don't know. We need Casey Wallace back, like, ASAP. Game one, we win. Does not matter. We win by 19. Bancaro, 47, 11, and 6. Game two, we win. Can Casey Wallace come back? We're winning without him, which is fine. There we go. That is huge. Game three, we end up losing. Okay. Do not lose game four, please. Come on. Go up three to one. Cameron Johnson gets hurt. What is going on? Okay. Let me alter this rotation. <laughs> we are really catching the injury bug right now. Uh, Everybody will go up here. I mean, like, everybody's, like, constantly in and out of the rotation. It's like, I don't know. What's going on? So, I'm going to go 15 to Cox and Tate. Uh, We're going to go 25, 27 to Hayes. That's fine. Uh, 21 to Wolf. And I want to give seven more minutes to Casey Wallace here. Can we win game four? Yes, we can. Can we win game five? And boom! It's our third ring of this 10-year rebuild. Paul Bancaro signing him was the best thing ever. So with our first round pick, we ended up taking Gregor Sims, a 6'7 small forward out of Turkey. Uh, team bar options, picking him up on Wolf, Cox, Stanley, not on Tom Marshall. Ja, Halbert, and Franz, and... Ross Rivers are all free agents. I'd like to bring back Jameson and Kudo. Uh, Kudo is going to get paid whatever he wants. Um, Cam Johnson, honestly, dude, I'll give you a three-year deal. It's the last year anyway. Theo Hayes, I would like to bring back. Damn, that two-year deal's up already? Time flies. So how much do Kudo and Jameson want? A ton. Kudo, I got to pay him whatever he wants. Craig Jameson, I'd like to bring back as well. We get Jameson four years, 90 million. And Kudo, five years, basically 200 mil. So yeah, it's going to be the squad for the final season. Here's our player progression. Bancaro, 96. Wallace, 82. Jameson, 82. So it's going to be Wallace, Rhodes, Bancaro, Kudo, Jameson, Cam Johnson, Hayes, uh, Drogic, and Wolf off the bench. Yeah, they could play over JP Cox for now. I think I'm going to go like 17 and Drogic. Uh, 24 to Hayes is fine. Cam, probably 26. Uh, Jameson, he's solid. I'm going to give 30 to him, maybe 26 to Hayes. Uh, 33 to Kudo, 35 to Bancaro. Um, I would like to maybe do hmm, 27 there, and then I want to play J.R. Rhodes a decent amount this season. So I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Let's see if we can win our fourth straight ring to end the video. And in the final season, Paolo Bancaro is your MVP. So that's pretty cool to get to the final year because that's something we haven't really gotten throughout this video. We are the one seed in the Eastern Conference. We are fully healthy for the playoffs, which is nice. I'm going to go 37 to Bancaro. It's kind of cool that the uh, big three is J.R. Rhodes, Bancaro, and Kudo, like players we've either developed or have acquired um in free agency i don't know like jr Rhodes is cool because he's a former sixth overall pick been a really good 3d guy kudo former number one overall pick and ben carroll like the best free agency signing of all time for us i think i'm going to just simulate the playoffs here just to see how this goes um we're gonna watch it in the final year develop can we win the NBA Finals here. I believe this is 2032. We beat the Miami Heat in round one. Now we're going up against the other Florida team, the Magic. We beat them. We beat Atlanta. And just like that, we are in the NBA Finals. We have dominated the playoffs. Bancaro is, I think, the best player in the NBA right now. And we end up beating the Rockets in the Finals. Let's go. Bancaro is your Finals MVP. We ended up this 10 or off this 10-year rebuild winning four straight. We could have won five in this video. Well, that's what I was. I said in the beginning of the video. We were going to have some bad years, but setting up this team, developing the young guys, accumulating assets for the back half of this video where we were really going to dominate. We lost in 2027 in seven games without Bancaro. Uh, I said before that I think we got gentlemen to have no one. Yeah, we lost in seven. And then we blew a 3-0 lead in the 2028 Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, could have won that year. And then we ended up winning four straight. So I hope you guys did enjoy this post KD and Kyrie 10 year Nets rebuild. It's a long video, so I'd appreciate it a lot if you drop a thumbs up. Let me know down below what you guys think of it. Love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.